So you're a pizza person, but you're married to a wing person, and your kids are salad people? You can't pick your fam, but with over 50 menu items to choose from, you can make them all happy. Order today and enjoy Boston pizza at home. Curling Alberta's 5050 supports grassroots curling with a jackpot of at least $100,000. I know. Brace yourself. Join us age 18 plus in nurturing these future curling stars. Support grassroots curling with Curling Alberta. Original 16. Celebrate things done well. What is your home club? How long has your team been together? Any new players this year? Our home club is the Airdrie Curling Club in Airdrie. And we've been together for two years. And the whole team is the same. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Uh, and do you players live in the same area or do you travel to play together? Yeah, there's two of us in Airdrie, one in Calgary and one in Red Deer. Yeah. Um, who coaches your team and, and what strengths do they bring? Mickey Pendergast is our coach and he brings a wealth of strengths to our team, lots of experience and knowledge and knows the game really well. <clears throat> what has become the identity of Team Slushinsky? How, uh, what do you guys do well and how will you use that to win games this week? Our identity is never give up. Uh, we just grind it out till the end. Yeah. All right. Um, <clears throat> Talking about some individual player strengths, these are these are kind of less serious. Who would you say is the lead communicator on the ice? Who's really pushing information, wake calls, that kind of thing? Uh, Kerr, our second, is probably the loudest guy out there. He throws his weight around a little bit, and yeah. Okay, good. Speaking <laughs> of weight, uh, who can throw the biggest weight on the team? Kerr as well. Yeah, he can whip them pretty good. <laughs> who would you say stays the calmest, most even keel on the ice? Uh, I'd love to say me. <laughs> I mean, when you got to draw the pin for the win or something, you got to be pretty even keel, so you can usually stay pretty calm out there. <clears throat> uh, what about off the ice? Who would you say is the jokester of the team who keeps it light? Care. Yeah, he's always got something funny to say. Yeah. Uh, who handles the pregame pump up music? Uh, Dylan, but it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but it might be up for a uh, review then. Yeah. Who's, uh, who's usually driving the team vehicle to and from Spiels or to and from the hotel? I'd say Dylan's probably our primary driver and I'd be our secondary. The other two never drive. <laughs> Lucky them. Yeah. Who'd you say is the real foodie on the team who's really concerned about planning restaurants or snacks? Um, Dylan. Dylan always needs to eat. He's got he's to feed those guns he's got going. <laughs> All right, finally, last question. What would it mean to you to wear the blue and gold jacket at the Montana's Briar? It would mean a lot. I've been in this thing, this is the 11th try, so it would be nice to win one of these and get to the Briar for sure. Well, good luck this week. Thanks for the interview. Yeah, thanks a lot. Very right, good.
Everything I've worked for, everything I've sacrificed, has led to this. It's out of your hands now. All the gold medals in the world can't help you now. You could throw the perfect rock and still miss, but it just takes one. You leave it all out there on the ice to leave behind a legacy. Need extra space? We rock at storage. Try four weeks free at a location near you. Sentinel Storage, proudly Canadian and proud sponsor of the Alberta Scotties Tournament of Hearts. Handcrafted in Canada, Hardline's Ice Band has revolutionized curling for over a decade. Engineered with top tier precision and durability, it is backed by an unmatched 10 year warranty. Designed for curlers at all levels to sweep effortlessly with maximum efficiency, it is trusted by the world's best curlers, including Olympic and world champions. It is quite simply the best broom in the game. Hardline. Join the revolution. New at Asham. Take your game to the next level with the Gushu Ultra Light. Equipped with our world-famous rotator disc system that attaches by Velcro, quickly and easily upgrade and replace your sliding platform. Check out our website at asham.com.
So you're a pizza person, but you're married to a wing person, and your kids are salad people? You can't pick your fam, but with over 50 menu items to choose from, you can make them all happy. Order today and enjoy Boston pizza at home. Everything I've worked for, everything I've sacrificed, has led to this. It's out of your hands now. All the gold medals in the world can't help you now. You could throw the perfect rock and still miss, but it just takes one. You leave it all out there on the ice to leave behind a legacy. New at Asham. Whether you're in the hack or kicking back, live it in style in the new Throwing Stones line exclusively by Asham. Curling is more than a sport, it's a lifestyle. Check out our website at asham.com. Welcome, everybody, to the final of the Boston Pizza Cup Alberta Men's Provincial Curling Championship. I'm Chelsea Carey, and I have the pleasure of being here with Evan Asmussen to call the game for you guys today. How's it going, Evan? Oh, my goodness. I'm fresh out of Hinton, back at my home, and I am ready to sit next to you and enjoy some wonderful curling and to await our newly crowned champion. Yeah, it should be a really exciting game and looking forward to getting some insight from you because you were in Hinton all week as far as the crowds and the ice conditions. It looks like it's been a fantastic event. Honestly, Chelsea, we have been treated to marvelous curling, incredible players, and we've got two of the finest here in our province ready to battle it out to see who's going to be wearing the blue and gold at the 2024 Montana's Briar. Yeah, if this game is anything like the one versus two game that we saw last night between these two teams, Team Cooey and Team Slachinski, we are in for an absolute treat. It was a wild finish and all kinds of momentum swings and great shots and some missed shots and just a roller coaster of emotions that was really exciting to watch. So I expect nothing less today and we will have a newly crowned Alberta champion shortly. So taking a look at our teams today competing, we have Team Cooey, and on Team Cooey's lineup, we have Karak Martin, Jacques Gauthier, Tyler Tardy, and of course, Kevin Cooey himself. And they're representing the Glencoe Curling Club in Calgary, Alberta. And their opposition today is Team Slachinski, featuring Dylan Webster, Kerr Drummond, Jeremy Hardy, and Aaron Slachinski, and they represent the Airdrie Curling Club in Airdrie, Alberta. So by, now, virtue, of, sorry, by virtue of the finish, um, Slutinski winning that one versus two game, they are awarded choice of rocks and the hammer in this game. So they've selected the yellow stones, which are the rocks they played with yesterday, which can get a little bit interesting because these are the same rocks that Team Cooey has had in their last, this this is now their third game in a row with these same set of red rocks. So it'll be interesting to see what we, if there's any discussion about, about rocks and, and moving things around or if both teams are comfortable with the colors that they've chosen. And when we're thinking about Aaron Slachinski today, coming out of that 1-2 game, being successful in that 1-2 game and thinking about all the advantages that they have alongside them, I think this is going to be a really easy start for both of our teams as one, Kevin Cooey just came out of the semifinal, and two, Aaron Slachinski has everything he needs to equip himself for a wonderful start to this game. Yeah, for sure. Both teams coming in with some confidence, Slachinski from having beat Cooey yesterday in that one versus two, and then Cooey from coming out on top of a very, very tight battle against Carson Sturming with a little bit of a comeback win, really. Uh, in that one. So both teams, I would imagine, yeah. quite confident. Coffee. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if you saw Team Slachinski really take it a little bit Great easier close. to start this game because yeah. the ice conditions may have changed. Bye. They Bye. played last yeah. night yeah. and just kind of feeling it out a bit more where Team Kui will feel really good about what the ice is doing. They'll feel very dialed and they're also the more veteran team in this situation. We see Dylan Webster here settling in nicely with a nice halfway uh, come around draw. Looks like the conditions are reacting as similar as they have been all week so far. Speed should be good here. Yeah, how did you find the conditions out there, Evan? It looked from watching on TV that they were very good, really fast and quite a bit of curl. 
Oh, Chelsea, I could go on about the venue <laughs> and the ice surface and yeah, the incredible boy, production boy. it has been so far this week. But honestly, with ice like this, it is, uh, there's no disagreement in why some of these shots are being made and how they're being made. Yeah. The conditions have been absolutely perfect and we were treated to that all week. Good. Good boy. Karik Martin in the hit and roll, just hanging on to the side of the 12 foot. Pretty important to stick that. That seems like a minor thing, but it actually isn't really at all. So I uh, looked a little nervous there for Kark for a minute, but did manage to stick that. So I'm going to force Aaron Slachinski to chase it. And throwing his second lead stones is Dylan Webster. Yep. Dylan is quite an accomplished lead himself, and he's been with this team and in combination of this team for a long time, and, and honestly, one of the top players here in this province. And I expect that the two front end players today are going to set up their teams significantly uh, for whatever end they plan to accomplish. I always, Chelsea, find it hard to play out in the wings here early on. You're going to see uh, some teams, maybe not these two, make some early mistakes out here in the wings as they're mapping out the sheet. Yeah, and it seems like an easy Girl. thing here to hit and stick, Please. but it's, uh, you hear Mike Harris reference Girl, it all the time. If you can draw the eight foot and hit and stick, you win a lot of curling games. And those seem like two really basic things, but they're not. And especially early in the game, do you throw that a little bit harder because you're out wide and the pebble might be a little bit fresh? And, but then if you do, you can't afford to roll out on the high side. Like, that's a harder shot than it seems like it is, especially early in the game. And we also find many teams take a different approach to that too as well. And I think a lot of that comes out of the pregame practice and how confident they're feeling with the sheet and the rocks themselves. But then also some teams address this first end a little bit differently and how they're going to choose their weight choices as they're mapping out the sheet. For sure. You'll often see teams throw there so if you normally would throw that with say a control weight something like a 10 10 and a half second hit you might see them throw more like a nine and a half in the first end just to make sure it doesn't catch some fresh pebble and take off the men's sweepers are so good that it's a little bit less concerning um for for teams with the caliber of sweepers that these two teams have but it's definitely a conversation that is had and you do have to be a little bit careful in that first end We're seeing a little bit of back and forth here, but eventually somebody's going to make that nice roll and challenge the end a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of a matter of who makes it first here at this point. You have mm -hmm. to make sure he's stuck, and they've all done that so far. But so now it switches to who's going to make this roll. It's it's more in the middle of the house now. There shouldn't be a huge risk of a rollout, but the team that makes this first, you know, obviously advantage goes to them early in this end. Care Drummond throwing the second stones for Team Slichinski. Quite an accomplished curler himself, and not just with yep. this team, but internationally, a world junior gold and bronze medalist out of Scotland. Yeah, uh, anyone who was watching the Olympics a few years ago would be familiar with nope. Kara's brother, Greg Drummond, who is still involved in uh, high performance coaching in Scotland, but also was part of that David Murdoch team um, a few years ago that I believe won a silver medal, if I'm not mistaken, at the Olympics. So definitely. Uh, a great pedigree for Karen and, and really oh, cool good. to get him to, oh, to get to see him finally play in a provincial. He's been on this team, Team Slachinski, for years, but he wasn't able to play in a Canadian playdown until last season. But then last year during the Boston Pizza Cup, his wife Sarah gave birth to their first child, so he was also not available to play in this event last year. So really awesome to get to see him finally play in this event. And you know, we put so much emphasis, Chelsea, on the back end players, yeah, specifically I, Aaron Slachinski, Kevin like Cooey, Tyler Tardy, and Jeremy Hardy. But I think after watching these last couple of games, we're really going to see the catalyst come at that position, at the second position with Kara Drummond and Jacques Gauthier, and how they've been we'll managing not only their own yep. throws and not only their own um, yep. aspects on the ice, but also Hard. how they're going Whoa. to manage Whoa. their team and work alongside their team as sweepers, because yeah. they are incredible at both. Yes, I agree. And we have seen, in, in my opinion, the second position has become a lot different since we brought the five rock rule into play. It used to, you used to think seconds just had to be able to hit, they had to be able to throw it hard, and that was kind of it, which is an oversimplification, but certainly was kind of the case. 
and then now with that five rock rule they're throwing a draw almost always on their first shot so they have to be both they have to be essentially you have two thirds on the team they both have to be able to do everything from from those touch shots to those big weight shots so i agree that i think that that's going to be a pivotal matchup between jacques Gauthier and Kara drummond here tyler tardy with a wonderful come around. My goodness, that's incredible sweeping to get that by. Yeah, very, very well swept. Going to be yeah. looking for another run back here from Jeremy Hardy. Normal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Clean. Whoa. Clean. Whoa. Clean. Yep. Whoa. Curl, curl, curl! Whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, curl, curl, curl! Three. Whoa, whoa! Shot. No doubt about it. Such precision. Jeremy Hardy. Nice yeah, no, if, if Team Sluchinski's nervous, they're not showing it yet. Um, they haven't really blinked so far in, in a really big game. I know a couple of them have been in a similar position to this before, but it, it, there has to be some nerves, but they're certainly not letting on that there is. Now, Chelsea, what we're seeing right now, Kevin... Look, uh, there we go. I was going to say, looking at the opportunity to draw <laughs> as he changes his mind here. <laughs> he heard you. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, I think he must have thought that that was a little bit more buried than it actually is. It's a, uh, I mean, he can't see a ton of it, but he's probably got a good third or so from the hack. So a makeable chase. You'd, you'd rather chase this than, you know, if you throw the draw, obviously there's a pretty big risk of giving up too. So if you can see this, I think you chase it. And I think when Kevin got partway down the sheet and turned around. He went, oh, just kidding. I can actually see quite a bit of that rock. And you know, and I, and I guess that Race goes to how comfortable both that. these teams are Easy with the with the surface, Hips. with their stones and with their play Hips. so far. We might actually see Hard. some more aggressive decision-making here Hard. earlier Hard. on in the game, just Hard. because really of how ready, ready they are <laughs> on this sheet today. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, Classic, uh, okay. yeah, classic commentator's curse there. Yeah. <laughs> right after we said how comfortable they are. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little overcurl there, and that might be that fresh pebble that we talked about in the first end, and that is always kind of the, the risk with those shots, with playing sort of a, a hack or a board weight in the first end, is if you do hit some of that yeah, fresh pebble, that. it can be a little bit hard to control. Yeah. Bad, well, you know, Chelsea, really it's been a little deceiving this week because the ice conditions have been so wonderful, but so keen. We've been seeing sheets of ice that have been running way north of 16 seconds. And so when you're thinking about playing those hack weight shots, you're really not driving out of the hack as intensely because your ice conditions are so quick. So it's trying to find that balance and that kick and that timing too as well and making those shots early on while the ice is still fresh. Yeah, definitely. And that's the thing that I think, you know, maybe some viewers and some yeah. some once a week club yeah. colors might not realize is that when we use those times and we say, you know, it's a 14 second draw, well, 14 doesn't necessarily always feel like 14, which it sounds a bit ridiculous, but it can sometimes feel like 15 if it's really fast underfoot. That's a conversation that you hear. Um, this ice just seems like it's fast, period, in general. So then all of a sudden where I would normally say I want to throw a, about a 12 and a half for a half, on this ice it might be more like a 13 and a half because it is that quick. Right on my broom here, guys. Right on my broom. So Aaron Slichinski's first stone at the end, and we're seeing him draw to the side of the house here. Split the rings to lay two. Trying to make sure they don't set up a routine double here for Kevin. Wonderful. Very well placed there. I think they looked at going around that guard, but it, it was hard to go around the guard and not leave Kevin a double of some kind. So I think smart call there to go to the open side. And that's going to be on the mind and kind of in the playbook of Slichinski throughout these next nine ends after this one, considering the ability of Tyler Tardy and Kevin Cooey to be able to make those uh, those doubles, those crosshouse doubles, those yeah. runbacks so precisely. They're going to have to be accurate today. Yeah, definitely. You can't. You have to be always really careful when you're playing uh, someone as talented as Kevin Cooey with that big weight. So there's just his repertoire has everything in it. So you got to be looking at rocks that are that don't look like they're in play because maybe he could come off that and maybe he could make a double off that. And he's he's just done it to so many teams so many times over the years that they'll know that. But it, it makes for a much more stressful situation for Team Slachinski because you have to be thinking of everything all the time. What you don't want to leave Kevin a shot, but you have to. <laughs> 
Good control. Kevin Cooey with his last rock here in the first end, looking to make a very precise hit and wall underneath the guard. Looks close. Just like that. Pretty perfect right there. Couldn't do a lot better than that. Yeah. So a couple of choices here, Chelsea. Yeah, both. Normal, I think. We got a run back opportunity, maybe a hack weight through the port. Looks like they're electing to play the run back. Yeah, they've made a few run backs already this end, so I don't mind this. And like we just said, playing that quiet weight in the first end where there might be some fresh pebble is sometimes a little bit tricky. They should feel good about the ice for this. They've made several in a spot close to this already. And, and from what I saw of Aaron, what I've seen of him all week, but what I saw of him yesterday was he, he's a bit of a killer with these. So I, I'm not surprised that this is his choice. Final stone and end number one. In. Yep. Yep. Hard. 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 Sleepers are on it. Brilliant. Great Team shot Sluchinsky there. Team for the early deuce in this championship final. So you're a pizza person, but you're married to a wing person, and your kids are salad people? You can't pick your fam, but with over 50 menu items to choose from, you can make them all happy. Order today and enjoy Boston pizza at home. Need extra space? We rock at storage. Try four weeks free at a location near you. Sentinel Storage, proudly Canadian and proud sponsor of the Alberta Scotties Tournament of Hearts. in Canada, Hardline's Ice Pad has revolutionized curling for over a decade. Engineered with top-tier precision and durability, it is backed by an unmatched 10-year warranty. Designed for curlers at all levels to sweep effortlessly with maximum efficiency, it is trusted by the world's best curlers, including Olympic and world champions. It is quite simply the best brew in the game. Hardline, join the revolution. New at Asham. Take your game to the next level with the Gushu Ultra Light. Equipped with our world-famous rotator disc system that attaches by Velcro, quickly and easily upgrade and replace your sliding platform. Check out our website at asham.com. So you're a pizza person, but you're married to a wing person, and your kids are salad people? You can't pick your fam, but with over 50 menu items to choose from, you can make them all happy. Order today and enjoy Boston pizza at home. Halfway. Welcome back to the Bill Thompson Arena in Hinton, Alberta. We saw a great first end already with neither team really hesitating and very well executed by Team Slochinski to get their deuce with a hammer in that first end. So it will be Team Cooey with the hammer here in two looking to bounce back from that two. Now, Chelsea, as we're setting ourselves up for a really incredible game and we're deep already into the game itself, I want to spend a little bit of time talking about how both of these teams got to where they are here in this moment. Now, this was a 12-team triple knockout and it started five days ago and we had 12 of the best teams in the province here this week. An incredible amount of uh, teams that have come with different backgrounds from different parts of the province and how they qualified into this event is also in itself a feat. Now we have Team Kui, Team Slachinski and Team Sturme qualifying through the World Curling Rankings. We had Team Parent and Team Tao through the Alberta Curling Tour. Team uh, Jakes, Libis and Adams through the Granite Qualifier in Edmonton. Team Vavrick and Webb through the Grand Prairie Qualifier, and Team Dunbar and Jenkins through the last chance at the Calgary Curling Club. 
Now, these two took an interesting route. Team Slachinski went with a win through Team Dunbar and then lost to Team Sturme in the A, which dropped them down to the B, and they rolled off three straight wins to take that B qualifier before meeting Kevin Cooey in the 1-2 game. Kevin Cooey took a different route to find his way here today, rolling off three straight wins against Libets, Vavrik, Sturme, and winning that A qualifier against Sturme before losing the 1-2 game to Slachinski, finding himself in the semi-final this morning, and then here we are. Both different pathways to this game. Yeah, and the triple makes that interesting because a lot, you know, if you have a round robin, then everyone's basically playing the same number of games. Yeah. Your team that goes from the one two game straight to the final might play one yeah. less, but but that's kind of it. Where with the triple, if you qualify that A side, it's great and you want to do that in theory, but you play a lot less games overall in the event then. So there can be some management involved in that. It can be, I think, I don't think it would affect either of these two teams and I don't think it affected okay, Team Cooey really, well but then, well it done. can, especially for a younger, like oh, a rookie there. team, to have all that four. time off. Hey, well, we see early on in the triple knockout format that those teams that are have worked their way here and through the qualifiers, it might take them a little bit longer to get ramped up and going. But as the field starts to dwindle down and as those teams start to condense to the final weekend, the competition and the play starts to get way more intense. The familiarity with the ice, with the surface, starts to get a little bit more predominant. And then we find these teams that are usually staples on the championship weekend being challenged a little bit more often through this triple knockout format. Heel. So we've got a wild start already to this second end here with three yellows lined up right along the center line. Some precision out of Team Slachinski so far, carrying that momentum from the first end. Yeah, they haven't really missed yet. It's been pretty impressive. So big shot here from Jacques Gauthier. Not really necessarily worried about making all three of these go. I don't even know that you can, but wanting to make some noise on the back too. Okay. Unfortunately, there for Team Kui, if, uh, if you're going to miss that, you want to miss it by more than that yeah. <laughs> so that you yeah. roll your shooter away a little bit more to a corner guard. It does leave that shooter in play here, but still decision time for Aaron Slachinski because there is that buried red rock around the corner guard. Tara yep. Drummond taking his time in the hack, looking to set up the guard here. Oh, Whoa. peeling. Whoa. The run back, Pearl. maybe. There we go. Pearl. 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 Okay. Okay. Spills the guard, but exposes that red run over in the 12 foot. Yeah, that was the acceptable miss there, the tolerance, as we would call it. You, uh, again, you, you don't want to just miss that and leave your shooter there. So, um, not the result they were looking for, but a, but a pretty decent outcome from care. Kevin going to the middle here, looking to tap this back, probably stay frozen on the top one and move that back one either out of the house or at least kind of to the back, yep. back 12 foot or so. Hard. And that's kind of the key of this Hard. shot too, is to have that shooter stay somewhere Hard. near frozen or on top of that yellow rock right at the top of the house. It looks like this is over curling early. Well, yeah, I think that was gone right out of his hand. I'm not sure if it maybe grabbed a little bit or if he just maybe help that a little bit on release just a little bit of a softer release there they they did sweep it right out of his hand and like not the result they would have been looking for on that one okay. Love it. so a couple of choices here for yeah. Sachinski. where either replace the guard even? or take a crack at that removing those two reds off to the side with a double this one's like a half rock higher okay it's just as easy to get it this way as it is outside yeah 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 like either way okay I think this turn, yeah. So electing to play the double. Yeah, Yeah, and the, yeah, I think the smart I thing here, rather than trying to hit this yeah. on the high yeah. side, is you could actually afford to over curl this and not even make the double and just hit the inside one and you'll still be sitting three, would be the tolerance on this shot. You don't want to hit that outside one too thick, would be the only concern here for Jeremy Hardy. Curl. 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 Curl, you're curl. close. Keep going. Curl. Curl. Keep going. Curl. Curl. Good. Good. Not that's a bad the, result. Yeah, like that's the tolerance there on that shot. You you didn't have to actually make the double. It worked out pretty good. I mean, they still would have probably preferred to kill that yeah. red rock, but they've negated it right on the nose. pretty much entirely yeah. because they also ended up sitting in essentially a freeze. So tough uh, uphill okay. battle here for Team Kui to try to generate a multiple score. How's that look? 
Minimum? I think it's... So third for Team Kui, Tyler Tardy, two-time World oh, Junior oh, Champion, 2018 yeah. and 2019. Hard. Still good boy. Hard. Hard. Looking to hit oh, this right hard. on the nose oh. and stay right on top of the yellow. Great shot. And you can just see the management, Chelsea, from the sweepers during that shot. Yeah, and the less weight you throw, we talked about this a bit in the semifinal, the less weight you throw, the more you can manipulate the line with the sweeping, both to hold it straight and to make it curl. So you see them often choosing this quiet weight, and that's the reason, because they can really play with it. It's When you have sweepers like this, it's a little bit of, it, it almost yep. feels like you have a joystick whoa, whoa. and you can control whoa, that rock uh, so, so precisely, yep. which yep. is whoa, whoa, just a great whoa, whoa, thing whoa, whoa, to be able to do. Good. Wonderful shot by Jeremy Hardy. Spills all the reds. So it looks like we may yeah. be heading to uh, Darren Molding's least favorite place, which is known as Blanksville on this one. <laughs> Team Cooey uh, looking to rip both these out of there, and then we'll probably see an exchange yep. of hits yep. for the rest of the end here. And then Cooey will go try to set it up again in the right next up, right up, right up. And that's just a testament to the skill yeah. of this team and, and the ability to be able to maneuver different situations, but also to be able to bail out of situations when needed. Absolutely. And I hear people all the time, they look at a line score and they see all these blank ends and they go, oh, that was such a boring game. It probably wasn't. Like, yeah. especially in men's curling, you see it start with a million rocks in the forefoot and then you make a couple run doubles and, and stuff. And then all of a sudden it's a blank. It's not that it was boring to start with. It's just that they're that good. They're that good at those multiple rock removals. And, and then you end up with no choice but to blank the end and try again next time. I think Team Slichinski is going to be really happy with the outcome of this end. Being up by two, having a blank end, moving that much further in the scoreboard and towards the end of this game. Well, and especially in an even end, which it's a little bit early to be worried about scoreboard management in that sense, but you never mind seeing the other team blank an even end. You don't want to do it yourself. You don't mind seeing them do it. So definitely, I, I would suggest of the two teams that Team Slichinski is happier with this outcome than Team Kui will be. Now we've seen a lot from this man over the years, of course, the opening ceremonies, they talked about all of Kevin's accolades, but this week, up until the playoffs, we've seen some inconsistency out of Kevin Kui and just a little bit right there too as well with the rollout. Yeah, we saw it in the start of the semifinal as well, and then he played really well in the back half. I think Kevin generally is a, is a closer. He's a, he's a back half player. Um, he, he tends to get better when the pressure's on, when, when it's in those kind of do-or-die situations. But yeah, we've definitely seen more than I would expect, more like kind of half shots and little, they're not big misses. Like he just feather rubs the guard in the first end and that leads to giving up two. And then like a, a stick there doesn't seem that important, but now you're giving Aaron Slachinski a chance to draw, which you don't really want to do. So just small mistakes, but mistakes that we don't typically see Kevin Cooey make. And another little one here, which might just be the nature of the end so far. Taking the foot off the gas pedal just a little bit as they realize the outcome of this end. Yeah, definitely. And I don't know if you found this this week, Evan, um, but often in arenas, I find that the, the draw weight to the wings, like it's actually a little bit faster to the wing than it is to the middle because it yeah. doesn't hit that slide path and that fudge. So I don't know if you've seen that, but that would suggest to me that maybe that's been the case here as well or is the case here as well right now. So a blank end goes up on the board here at the 2024 Alberta Boston Pizza Cup. Curling Alberta's 5050 supports grassroots curling with a jackpot of at least $100,000. I know. Brace yourself. Join us age 18 plus in nurturing these future curling stars. Support grassroots curling with Curling Alberta. Original 16. Celebrate things done well.
your love for curling with our customizable neon LED lights from Letterlands. Choose your new Neon Mix Doubles partner or make a statement with a neon curling rock in your window. Also actual Letterlands. Use discount code WOW for 15% off. Only at Letterlands.com. So you're a pizza person, but you're married to a wing person, and your kids are salad people? You can't pick your fam, but with over 50 menu items to choose from, you can make them all happy. Order today and enjoy Boston pizza at home. Thank you to the local sponsors in Hinton supporting the 2024 Boston Pizza Cup presented by Best Western. Thank you to Diamond Sponsors, Tourmaline, Tech, and Reynaldi & Sons Contracting Limited. And we're back for the third end of the Alberta Boston Pizza Cup uh, men's final close. between uh, Team I'm Kevin Cooey and Team Aaron Slipstinski. We saw a couple of great shots there by uh, both teams, some, some multiple removal shots, and it turned into a blank pretty quick. So it is Team Suchinski with a two-point lead and Team Cooey with the hammer playing the third end. Now, Chelsea, we are moving through this game lightning pace so far, but we need to take an opportunity to talk about the incredible facility and event that the Bill Thompson Arena and the Hinton Curling Club has put on for the spectators, for its community, and for our live streaming crew and the people across Canada as they've been tuning in all week. This has been a marvelous event and the players have been absolutely satisfied with the way that they've been treated and the way that the curling has gone so far this week. Absolutely brilliant. It really takes a community to be able to put on some of these events, and, and this was nothing shy of it. Easy, easy. Yeah, that's all I've heard from everybody that's been there all week, is, is just how incredible the community's been, how great the people have been, the crowds, all that stuff, which is what you want. I mean, that's that's what the players, that's the stuff you dream of, getting to play in front of a great crowd in, in an arena with amazing ice conditions. And, and from what I've seen anyway, watching from a distance, it certainly appears that Hinton has done that. And for the viewers at home who want to take another step into participating with this wonderful event and our championship final today, you can join in by purchasing your 50-50 tickets through Curling Alberta's website, which will allow the Hinton Curling Club to be able to fix up, repair, and pay for their chiller that went down in December. It's a win-win situation, a little bit of money in your pocket and a little bit of money back in to helping the Hinton Curling Club get up and running for its members. Those members who have been here all week supporting the curlers to be able to provide you this wonderful game today. Well, it, from the sounds of it, Evan, it's not a little bit of money that could be in your pocket. These jackpots have been huge for the 50-50 from what I've seen. So right now we're just over $10,000 and the overall jackpot this week how much money has been raised is above $60,000. It's an incredible amount to be able to give back into curling, give back into grassroots, and to be able to support our small local uh, venues, to be able to put on events like this in the future. Oh, oh. So double oh stuff the run back. How many times can poor Jacques Gauthier do that in one event? He did one yesterday in the eighth when they gave up the three steal. He did one earlier today in the eighth as well. Here, and now here again, like that. that's so yeah. close to being good. The bad yeah, luck involved in that is just painful for Team Cooey. Thing. You know, and that's the nature of that shot yeah. too as well, is it's so close, you have to be so precise, but the result yeah, can be it. drastic and, and it actually can be quite, you know, in, incredible in, in, to the team. Yeah, that was, the, I mean, I made reference to it in the last end. If you're going to miss it, you want to oh. miss it by more than that. Because being really close to making it and not quite making it is the worst case scenario, unfortunately, because you get penalized for being really good at curling. Just over the top. Okay. But a good attempt. Definitely a good attempt, but does leave Team Kui's second shot in there. They're still going to have to deal with this uh, kind of a Big bit of a shot. mess in the middle. Still a shade low. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. I mean, he almost made it last time, so you have to think he'll be close on this one again. Jacques Gauthier yep. oh, working to yes. run this guard right back into the ranks. Oh, hard, yeah. hard. Oh, hard. Hard. Oh, my goodness. Hard. And you can hear it in their voices, okay. can't you? Yeah, the frustration is, is high. That one was also close, and they got off it for a second, and it looked like it just curled on them a little bit. Even, yes. even with the red. Okay. 
And you got to wonder now, this has been a couple of times, what can we do to support Jacques Gauthier in making those moving forward? Yeah, that that needs to be a, something that's talked about for sure. Because he, you know, they, for him to miss the first one is just, like I said, it's just painful. I mean, it, it hurts me to watch that because it, it's ah, like I'm really, it's a mil- the absolutely Wait perfect, probably less than that. Um, so I think ah, just Wait if you can. probably Wait, keeping it positive. And, and it is, Jacques Gauthier has done a pretty incredible thing this year and in stepping into playing front end when he's been a back end player, I think pretty much his whole life. And so those are sometimes hard because you're not icing yourself and you're not anyone calling it different when you're not skipping. So just a little extra support for him, I think from, from the team and like he threw that good and well, you know, that kind of a, that kind of a thing probably couldn't hurt. Or freeze. Does that mean good? We're second, right? So Jeremy Hardy with the halfway guard no looking to push Jason, the envelope yeah. a little bit, apply some pressure to Team Kui. Yeah, no it's turn. there. He's like still going to draw here. I like the run or the freeze. I don't like the chase. I, I don't like the run. Or, I mean, I don't like the freeze. Okay, run mm-hmm. it is. Like the run. You know, and listening in here to these two talk, this really is a great no, snippet and some no. insight into the way this team communicates and makes decisions about their shots. Yeah, I really like that back and forth, and I talked about this a little bit earlier, but Kevin Cooey, I think Tyler Tardy is a great fit for Kevin Cooey, because neither of them are people who like to talk a lot, um, who really analyze things out loud, it's more uh, processing in their head, so very concise communication, and basically what Tyler did there is, is take, not take the options away from Kevin, but narrow it down so that it's either this or this i like this or this kevin's like i don't like this okay then this is the, then this is the call and that's a really quick interaction we've seen different iterations of team Kui have time talk trouble and this team is as immune to that by any stretch but but communication like that the conciseness and and the quickness of that conversation between tyler and kevin bodes well for this team And the result after that replay, you saw after that run back that that yellow rock just spilled halfway in front of that red rock in the back of the rings. Good result though, it opens that four foot up, at least you're gonna be able to get in there. And and now it's a more risk-free attempt at setting up two points here. And putting a little bit of pressure on making this and he does it. Wonderful throw by Jeremy Hardy. Really good sweep to get that by. They were on that right out of his hand. I like to run the stagger. Freeze that jello. No, yeah. no point in freezing. They blast. And get here. Okay. So Team Slachinski sitting two. They were like coming around the Couple guard. of decisions to be made stagger. here by Team Kui. Like, I would have hit the guard. Yeah. I'm going to have to play some kind of chase. What's that? I'm going to have to play some kind of chase on my first. Pretty enough. long guard. I know, but if he's right here. He's well, he's not going to perfect. He, he won't be shot if he's there, though, right? From yeah. around the stagger? That's very close. Okay. Kevin like thinking freeze, a, ahead that. to his own shots here. The placement of this rock is important. T lines. T lines away. imagine it will be. No. So, Chelsea, they've elected to draw right behind the center guard. Uh, I think he was calling the freeze on that back T line rock, but I'm not. That doesn't look like a lot of ice, so I'm not sure what they landed on here. That center line guard's just so long that it's hard to. T line. Room. Line's good. Go then. Go then. Line's good. Close for line. Wait, good. Wait, wait, good. Line. If they are looking to play the freeze. Line. Hard line! Hard line! Hard, 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 hard. Great weight by Tyler Tardy, but just a little bit of an overcurl. Yeah, weight was absolutely perfect. They weren't worried about the line early, so just seeing a little bit more finish there than they were expecting. They said room at one point. Normal weight read on the nose. Yeah. So Aaron Slachinski just looking to remove this. This red yellow combo at the back of the forefoot. I'd like to not you either want to stick your shooter or you want to not kill that back one probably and and hand Kevin another blank here or an opportunity to draw around. 
yep. those staggered Girl, corner guards and potentially set up multiples. Girl, a touch. Well, nice shot. There you go. And just like that, both of them go. Well, same thing or turn roll to here. Good roll here. Pretty much right off there, eh, Carr? Or roll under there, I'm fine with that too. Puts a little knife in there. Okay. You have to get the gear. We could play the same shot. So just deciding where to hit and roll to. That red guard seems quite long, quite accessible for Team Slachinski. So maybe to the corner? Yeah, I agree, but this looks like a, quite a bit of ice, so I'm thinking he's throwing this fairly quiet. That quiet weight will allow them to be able to manage it with sweeping, like we talked about before, but also to navigate the roll too as well. Shade more. Hard board. board. Almost Deep. control. Pretty hard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Close. Close. Yep. Yep. Close. Hard. 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 Go, 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 go. Hard. Go, 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 go. Yep. Yep. Kark yep. Martin on the sweep. Go, 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 go. Oh. Shot. Looks like it just got edge to edge. Yeah, good attempt. Just needed to roll half a rock to a rock further, and it would have been perfect. It would have left Aaron a short little run back, but good chance the shooter wouldn't have been in then, so they could have got the blank out of it. It's looking like a force here right now if Aaron Slachinski can stick this. We saw this earlier, Jeremy Hardy threw it, so they should have a pretty good idea of this path. Still have to be a little leery of the yellow Wait. rock at the top of the rings. Yep. Yep. Literally. Hard. Yep. Hard. 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 Keep going. Hard. Keep Drummond going. and Webster on the Hard. sweep. Keep. Whoa. 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 That's good. And just like you said, hey, you're lining up these doubles, something that they're going to have to watch for all game. Yeah, I would have liked to roll that a little bit more so that this double to blank wasn't so routine. Still has to be made, not a gimme by any stretch, but about seven eighths high, even three quarters probably with the kind of weight that Kevin Cooey is going to throw at this and they will get a blank end out of this. Kevin Cooey settling into the hack to throw his last rock here. Blank attempt. Whoa, girl. 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 Go, 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 go. And jams it for a steal of one for Team Slachinski, going 3 0 into the fourth end. Need extra space? We rock at storage. Try four weeks free at a location near you. Sentinel Storage, proudly Canadian and proud sponsor of the Alberta Scotties Tournament of Hearts. New at Asham. Whether you're in the hack or kicking back, live it in style in the new Throw and Stones line exclusively by Asham. Curling is more than a sport, it's a lifestyle. Check out our website at asham.com. Curling Alberta's 5050 supports grassroots curling with a jackpot of at least $100,000. I know. Brace yourself. 
Join us age 18 plus in nurturing these future curling stars. Support Grassroots Curling with Curling Alberta. I don't remember a time when curling wasn't a part of my life. When I wasn't putting in the sweat and hard work to be the best that I can be. Clocking in the time, the effort to practice day in, day out. Curling is more than just a game. It's a family, a community. And when it's time to play, I know I'll be ready. Hardline, supporting hundreds of our next generation athletes. Thank you to the local Platinum and Gold sponsors, Sniper, 24-7 Compression, Quadra, Octane Controls Limited, Ascend, Wild Hate Oil Field Services Limited, Stitch and Print, and Sound Scaffolding. Hard, 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 hard. So we welcome you back to the 2024 Alberta Boston Pizza Cup championship final between Team Cooey, Team Slichinski here at the Bill Thompson Arena in Hinton. We are into the fourth end. The score is 3 nothing for Team Slichinski. And joining me in the booth right now is Sheldon Hay from Boston Pizza. Thank you for taking the time out of your day and out of your viewing to come and join us and talk to us about this amazing event and, of course, the incredible curling so far. Okay. Thanks, Evan. I'm really happy to be here. You know what, Sheldon? We have seen an incredible display of performance here at the Bill Thompson Arena. Twelve of the best curling teams across the province have showed up. And your amazing support has allowed these teams to come here to be able to put on a show for the town, for our community, for everybody across Canada. And without you, we, we really, really, really wouldn't be able to do what we're doing here today. Thanks, Evan. Yeah, Boston Pizza is very proud to be sponsoring this event. Um, the Northern Alberta oh, Boston four. Pizza franchisees, um, this is one of our favorite sponsorships all year. So we're very sure happy to be here. involved. Mine's good. When lead rocks into this fourth end here, Sheldon, Hard. observations, Hard. wonders, Hard. what are you seeing here in this championship Hard. final so far? Um, I think uh, Team Slichinski seems pretty calm. Um, Aaron's always a, a cool cucumber, and um, yeah, they look they look like they're they're on today. Um, not very many shots missed at all. Care has been unreal all week, and, and, and unreal today. Um, yeah, it's been a great match so far. And Sheldon, you've been here for most of the week, and you've watched all the teams work their way through to this point. What have you been noticing about the teams that are not playing today for the future of this event moving forward? You know, I I am just so impressed by the competition this week. Uh, Friday night's draw was some of the most unreal curling I've ever seen. The curling all week has been phenomenal, but um, yeah, the competition has been, been really par between everyone, and I am so excited about the future. We've got uh, teams like Jake's, and and uh, your team did awesome too. Um, I think the, the future is great for, for Alberta curling. Well, when we're speaking about the future of our teams and our competitors here in this province, and when you're looking at the playoff bracket, we saw one team that maybe our viewers are not familiar with, and that's Team Adams. And they ended up in the 3-4 game after beating Team Parent last night in the C qualifier. And they had an outstanding showing. Yep. Yeah, they, they, uh, they're they really a bunch of up-and-comers and, -comers and uh, yep. really exciting to watch. Hard it's, hard uh, <laughs> Team Parent as well. They, they, had a, they had a great week as well out here. So our future is definitely great. And we see another over curl and rub on the guard here by Team Kui. Just a little bit of precision missing from their play today so far in these early ends. Yeah, for sure. Board? Board, right? Yeah, I think so. We, we run straight, I think. Yeah. yeah. Kara Drummond, the second for Team Slichinski here. He, you now, Sheldon, you've alluded to the incredible week that Kara has had. And Chelsea and I talked about the pivotal role that Kara is going to have for this team throughout this championship final. We've seen some incredible shot making from him. What do you see in the likes of this guy? Yeah, I've been watching curl. him for quite a few curl. years now. Um, I know this is his curl. first year he's been able to curl officially with um, in the playdowns, but uh, he just brings a calming influence to the team. And uh, I'd be really interested to hear what his percentage is this week. I haven't seen him miss very many shots at all all week. 
running. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I think we had a half miss there by him, but um, he's been on fire this week. Same thing. Yeah, same. Yeah. You need to shade more weight. Like a pound more? Now, Sheldon, Boston Pizza has been in our communities for decades, and you've had this event for so many years. We're so happy to represent you, your businesses, your franchisees, and the communities that you are established in. I know that it takes an incredible community, and this community of Hinton has put on quite a show. No, straight. Yeah, it's been a been a great week. Um, the host committee has put on just an amazing show. It's one of the best Boston Pizza Cups ever, I'd say. Um, yeah, and getting back to Boston Pizza, we've been involved with this event since 90, 1995, so our 29th year. And Boston Pizza is celebrating its 60th birthday this year. So we we started 60, 60 years ago now in, in Edmonton. Wow. Like board? Well, when we think about yeah. support and we think about think curling and we think about the future that, generations, we know that both of these teams out here today have had incredible um, support yeah. too as well to get to where they need to be into this final Just championship. Like a, and yeah, honestly, without yeah. their supporters, without their sponsors, corporate for the event and for the teams, really, it, it, we wouldn't be able to do these kinds of things and, and be here and be able to represent the way that we do. Yeah, well, it's it's our pleasure to be a part of this and to give back to the community. That's that's really what Boston Pizza is all about, and um, I can't think of a better event to be associated with. Yep, yep. Whoa. No. Jeremy Hardy just making the hit and roll right under that corner. Kevin looking to move some things around. Looks like there's a double available. I think you throw it hard. It's hard okay. to roll over the top. Firm. <coughs> Could see a few rocks fly here. Now, Kevin alluding to the fact that this is pretty much routine, but we are seeing some heat out of Tyler Tardy here to make sure that those rocks are all removed. Looks close. And just like that. Wonderful triple takeout by oh, Tyler amazing. Turney. What a shot. Oh, I can do the, I got air, Aaron. Yeah. Now it does leave that one in the like top four way? accessible for yeah. this hit and yeah. roll. That was boring, your last one. Yeah. You yeah. trying to throw board? Yeah, same way. Same way. Whoa, Jeremy whoa, Hardy with whoa, the hit and roll. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right. Curl. whoa. Straight. Straight. Go. Straight. Straight. Whoa. Whoa. Curl. Whoa. Curl. Whoa. Whoa. Sounds close. Whoa. Whoa. Choosing to go the other way. Shot. Looks like they buried nice at spot, least guys. a good half. Good communication there. That was good. Good audible. Just snuck out a little. Yeah. Nice well, shot. Piece. Well, and that's pure communication from Team Slachinski, recognizing that it wasn't going to have the initial outcome, but being able to pivot and get that plan too. B Are we and put a little bit of pressure no. on Kui here and making a decision if they chase or if they're going to come around that center guard. What, he does. He's got the slash double, right? we can yeah. the hack later. what do you like here, Chelsea? Like we go draw, what are you doing? I don't I'm mind the draw. Play. Like I'm not, I don't think he's playing that. You? I think he is. Probably. I, I think he plays that nine out of ten times. Well, and if he He's misses, we can do that. Too, I, think, if play that? I don't mind the draw, Kev. Yeah, the, the, the challenge is exactly what they just said. If you make this little chase hit and it's not easy to make, then it's a slash, like the, the slash this. run I mean, if you double. If wanted to play just here and try and get a shade low. Is pretty makeable. I, it looks like a pretty easy run double then if we're low. No? Yeah, you're... You're keeping this yellow around is I all I'm thinking. Gotcha. Thanks to Tyler for reiterating what I was oh, thinking there. <laughs> Just, it's a real guess. 
should be similar to what you do. I think it'll be similar to this one. And Kevin just said it best there, Chelsea. You know, we saw in the last end okay. a couple of mistakes later on with where the throwing? broom has been placed. And it makes me um, wonder that maybe that they're game, having a little goal? bit of a tough time mapping out this side of the sheet, this especially ball, this far out into the rings. Yeah, and I, I understand the logic that if they went around that oh, yellow God. guard that Team Slachinski is playing the run back. But if they don't stick the run back perfectly, you still, you still can play a chase and, and maybe you get a rollout or if they run it and don't stick it at all then you could play this chase later i i like personally like the draw better than this but it's about what they're comfortable with at this point they just they, they need to uh they need some momentum with a couple made shots in a row here for back four. Back four. Back four back four. Back four. Yep. 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 just gets by That's a great shot. wonderful wow when it leaves that yellow at the back of the rings as a potential catcher for some of the, well, what probably will happen here with the nice run back. They got to be a little careful here, Slachinski. Yeah, that, that, and that's what Kevin was saying. Like, if you remove that rock altogether, then he's ripping this slash all day. And, and it's, you're going to kill at least one. But now you have to be careful because the jam is lined up. So brilliant shot there from Tyler Tardy. Two thirds high. Yeah, make sure the one goes off it. Yeah. Even if it's it's right uh, one is yeah, actually, if, if you straight plant, it's closer to... I don't think it's ever going over the top. Do you think Greta's laying two right now? Better to hit that That's a good question. What are you betting, Sheldon? Um, I think Red's sitting two. I think Kui's sitting two right now. If I had to bet, I would agree with you. It looks It's hard to tell from our overhead here, but it look, it does look from our vantage point like they're sitting two. Now, Sheldon, all week on our featured games, they have been watching our teams. They've been looking for these incredible shots to be made, like the one we're about to see here. And yep. we've been offering the Boston hard, Pizza hard, moment of hard, the game. Hard, hard. Oh, and just that misses it, narrowly misses it. It's a good try. And that moment of the game, Sheldon, has been offered to a team that's been featured, that has just worked through some incredible moments. And then, of course, they get a Boston Pizza gift card for all of their excellent work. Small consolation, of course. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of a better place to go after the game. Now, some decisions to be made, Chelsea, here. And it looks like they're taking their time mapping out what they want to get out of this end. Yeah, we'll see if we can listen into them here for a second. Just make sure he doesn't play this. No, I know. But, yeah, they're just. Yeah. Why I mean, this isn't bad, too, right? I know, but I mean, we need yeah, yeah. some kind of. Yeah. So they're going to choose to go around this. So we'll make room for. Yeah, yeah. Center guard. They're just lining up how not to leave some kind of run double for. Aaron Slachinski, so what, what depth do you want this? That was most of that conversation. It feels like it's maybe two feet heavier than the, this. I side. agree. I agree with that. Yep. I think I need a bit more. So compared to practice or same as practice? Kevin Cooey looking to draw here around the center line guard. And establish a couple of points here. Good information from the sweepers there. Both like Karak and Jacques agreeing that it's a couple feet Top heavier in this path. Right Top button, hey, want just in front of the tee. Top button. Top Line's button. good. Sweepers like it. Line's good. Top button. Got to get it there for weight. Line will get there. Hard, Looks close. Hard, all you got. All you got. Hard! All you got. All you got. Gauthier throw, and Martin throw, 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 on the sweep. A little bit more. The sweep. I wonder if they left a little bit of that open to chase. Yeah. Something that they were worried about and looking at early on. It is quite steep though, Chelsea. Yeah, it's very steep and, and you might still jam it on the side. But reasonably risk-free, as long as you, you hit the first one, you may as well give it a try. 
you're uh, you're giving up two anyway. There isn't really an, an option to negate that. Yeah. Pretty much center line. Yep. Don't want to cross center. Final stone from Aaron Slichinski. Yep. Yep. Hard. Try to go. Get it off that line. Hard. Back it up. Hard. Back it up. Hard. Hard. Back it up. Looks close. Nice. Just so like that. Wow. There we go. Talk about moments of the game. Yeah, that's an that's an early candidate. You're right, Sheldon. Yep. 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 Hard. I was really worried about that jam too. Well, and it just shows how effective the sweepers are being able to not only hold the line, but be able to back it off just a little bit. Yeah, you heard them saying that the whole way down, back it up, back it up, back it up, uh, encouraging. I think it was care on the inside there, but great sweeping. Hit that, if you hit that any thicker, it does jam. So they hit it perfect to uh, get away with that. It did jam, but it rolled out of the house and now not only is is that made but they're sitting too so it's a it's a force here from team Slachinski on team Kui, which is not what they would have been looking for oh he might be trying to blank here that's what i was thinking he had an opportunity to maybe hit that and take one but it looks like he's electing to play the double blank yep. 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 All right. Hard. Gotta go. you really hope what? that if you're Whoa. gonna miss yep. this yep. you're gonna yep. at least yep. score yep. one yep. here okay. just like that mm. Team Kui takes their single here in the fourth end to fall behind by two points to Team Slachinski. Three to one, moving into the fifth end. <sighs> Curling Alberta presents the 2024 Boston Pizza Cup, presented by Best Western Hotels and Resorts. Brought to you by Boston Pizza, dedicated to establishing strong relationships with the community and supporting local sports. By Best Western Hotels and Resorts, a curler's home away from home. By Curling Alberta, spreading the power of sport through curling and inspiring the curlers of today and tomorrow. By the Hinton Curling Club and the local hosting committee. By the town of Hinton, a community of opportunity. By the dedicated local sponsors. And produced by Curling Stadium to bring the excitement to you. So you're a pizza person, but you're married to a wing person, and your kids are salad people? You can't pick your fam, but with over 50 menu items to choose from, you can make them all happy. Order today and enjoy Boston pizza at home. Everything I've worked for, everything I've sacrificed, has led to this. It's out of your hands now. All the gold medals in the world can't help you now. You could throw the perfect rock and still miss, but it just takes one. You leave it all out there on the ice to leave behind a legacy. New at Asham, take your game to the next level with the Gushu Ultra Light. Equipped with our world-famous rotator disc system that attaches by Velcro, quickly and easily upgrade and replace your sliding platform. Check out our website at asham.com. Lineup is triple peel for him. Yeah, I done a little bit. We'll just let's get over the yeah, get over the line a little bit. So we welcome you back to the 2024 Boston Pizza Alberta Men's Championship. We are working on the fifth end here. As you were at a commercial break, we saw just a picked rock here 
Make sure, guys. Come on. From Team Slichinski to complicate the first couple of stones here in this fifth end. Full eight. Now the two centerline guards have gone up by Team Kui. Chelsea, walk us through the thought process around that. Yeah, you're you're in. I don't want to call it desperation okay. mode just yet I'm for Team Kui, but it's you're certainly top approaching eight, that. So eight. the, the yeah. double centers or yeah. double guns, we'll use a Darren yeah. Molding ism on that one. Um, is it, just attempting to set up either a steal or a force. Uh, worst case scenario, you you need all the rocks in play you can get here if you're Team Kui. So it seems like a little bit of confusion around maybe how the sheet is shaping up. Maybe some of the paths are changing here as we're halfway through the game. Yeah, I'd say play for five feet slow. Yeah, there you go. Just heard them say it five feet slow. So we didn't see that in the semifinal until the 10th end. They talked about it starting to get a little bit slower. So seeing that a little bit earlier here, that the where that slide path maybe is just getting a little bit fudgy through the middle. Line's good. Hard go. Hard. Wait there. Go no, line's good. Just line. Line's really good. T line. Everything has to curl. Line's good. No, line's good. Right to the T. Now, Sheldon, we've had a week of curling here at the Alberta Boston Pizza Cup. We know alongside this championship, the Manitoba final is going on as we speak. We've seen tons of teams pre qualify and qualify over the last couple of weeks for the Briar. What are your thoughts? What are your expectations for the Briar coming up? Uh, I think it's going to be exciting. Um, I think the ch the uh, possibility that Alberta could yep. have three teams in it is very exciting. Yep. Hard. Um, do we know who's in from Alberta already for the wild card spots? Same shot. Kevin Cooey is, well, you Brendan, Brendan middle, Botcher obviously is in uh, already, oh, right and that's why he's not at this hey. event. Kevin Cooey, I think, is in whether he wins or loses this game. Split center. Um, yeah, if Slachinski wins, then Cooey's still in. So I think that that's actually the best case scenario for Alberta curling fans, like the same shot, just right? to make sure. There's a battle going on in Manitoba right now. Like two if Team Carruthers wins that, then I think Slachinski okay. gets the other spot. And right, right, right now, now Reed is one up without playing 10. Oh, wow. Team Kui second, Jacques Gauthier. Yeah, yep. yep. Line's good. Oh, line's good. good. Okay. Not the same. Yep, weight's good. Yep, light. Hard. Hard line. Line's good. Hard early hard. for line. <coughs> Real hard. Keep going. Line's good. Come Keep on, going for weight. Curl up Weld it. Weld it. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. And just finishes up at the end to lock itself onto the face of that red stone. Great management. There's a ton of expertise in the front end players and in Tyler Tardy and Karik Martin there and being able to not only navigate that stone for a line, but also to be able to manage its speed coming into the rings. Wow. wow, you want to talk about moments. And just when you think you've got it all together, you've been precise, you have somebody like Care Drummond come down and clean house. That's got to put a fire under you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah frustrating yeah. for Team Kui because they have struggled with the precision and then they finally got it going. And like, to hit three rocks and still almost make this double on the back is unbelievable from Care. That's just crazy. Oh, wait, was that Kev? He's had that going all week. I might maybe uh, not quite intentionally on that shot, but. <laughs> so, Chelsea, what a how, does, how does Team Kui That's now yep. generate a oh, little boy. bit of Hard. pressure to Close put on Slachinski here while still maintaining an outcome that's favorable Hard. for them? Oh. They're down yeah, by bro. a couple oh. here bro. playing the fifth end. Yeah, so, I mean, you'd love to steal here, but that shot from Care probably basically takes away your chance to steal. So now okay. you're looking to play a force. Would I like to roll that a little bit further so that there's no double opportunity for Team Slatinski? 
I think you're shifting yeah. gears here for, if you're Team Kui and playing for a force rather than okay. a steal just because of Karis, yeah. that insane shot that Karis just made where all the center guards are gone and one of those rocks in the house. So um, sometimes you just have to take your medicine when the other team makes a shot like that. Yep, hard. Yep. hard. Jeremy Hardy being hard. asked for the it. double. Hard, 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 right hard. hard. Right big roll. Hard. Roll hard. over there, Del. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope. Little thick and rolls whoa. right over. Just up. I don't know, it might get ugly, but I think here. Uh, it's so too, yeah. I think you play this like it's almost six feet yeah. and earlier. So do you ever -line. elect here, Team Kui, to manipulate that yellow stone, or are they looking to continue to applying pressure here by splitting the rings? Yeah, you know, my this was my first thought. It, I, I chuckled when Kevin said it might get ugly because it, it could. But I think it's the right call. You have to play a force here. You don't want to let uh, Slachinski blank if you can avoid it. So I think this is a risk worth taking. They should know the speed of the spot. And just hope you can keep the house split for long enough that you don't end up giving up two, which is what they're trying to avoid here. Great draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll it right to So if you are Slachinski, scoring here is not the end of the world. No, definitely not. You just don't want to give up a steal. So scoring one wouldn't be your top priority, but it's an acceptable outcome for sure. Good wait. Yep. Yep. Hard. 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 Clean. Yep. 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 Clean. Well, Oh, oh, curl, curl, roll it big, roll it big. Good. A little hit and roll by Jeremy Hardy there, and just bringing his shooter stone a little bit closer to that red stone. Couple rocks here, there might be a double available. Kind of wait, Kev. Heavy board. Heavy board. Okay, working to make this one curl. Trying to get it just over the face. Does roll back to the center there. Small window of opportunity for Slachinski here to run, take a crack at the double. I see we have a shot of Paige selling 50-50 tickets. And speaking of 50-50 tickets, of course, Sheldon, I mean, an incredible opportunity for somebody to walk away with some great cash but to also put some cash back into the hinton curling club and their new chiller but the jackpot is already at a whopping twelve thousand five hundred dollars for today so far and just as i spoke it was twelve thousand eight hundred dollars so that person must have bought a huge amount they're looking to win wow aaron slachinski no questions asked I got room. And that is one of the great things about curling is to see somebody who's actually in the Scotties out there volunteer, room, volunteering, right? selling 50 50 tickets. What is, uh, it's like it's just amazing. Order? When I was in St. Paul watching the ladies' oh, yeah. provincials, oh, Val Sweeney was uh, volunteering and, and uh, serving serving tables. And it's, it's so cool to see. And, and the two of you volunteering your time doing this as well is pretty neat. Well, you know, Sheldon, it is all about community. It is all about finding way. ways and pathways to not only be able to give back, but to show different ways that we can express our passion in this Raise sport. And that I is one no way hole. to show your passion no in hole, curling yeah. is to get involved in these events, to become a volunteer, to work with your uh, organization or your governing body. It's a very great stepping stone into the sport and also for the longevity of these events.
So Chelsea, have they elected to give this double a go, this thin double a go? I'm not sure. There was a lot of discussion around this. It's there, but it is very thin. Yeah, given how hard he's killing it, I'm guessing that's what he's doing. Yep, hard. 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 Kevin Cooey with the thin double. Hard. 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 Going gone. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, what a shot. It was only a matter of time before we saw something great out of Kevin Cooey this Good evening. Call, Kevin Cooey with a laser out turn, as always. That is such a hard, hard. shot. Hard. Taking a little bit of extra time in the half, more than usual than Kevin does, but you can see how intense these moments are, and he's really trying to capitalize. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's not going to win them the game, but it, they could have lost the game if he didn't make that shot. That is absolutely huge from Kevin Cooey. Boy, that was a thin, thin double. <laughs> yes, very thin, especially with the out turn. <laughs> And speaking of a thin, thin double, our thin, thin time with Sheldon has come to an end. Sheldon, thank you so much for all your support. We hope you enjoy the rest of the game as we go into the fifth end break here. Sorry. Thanks for having me. Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, Sheldon. Curling Alberta's 5050 supports grassroots curling with a jackpot of at least $100,000. I know. Brace yourself. Join us age 18 plus in nurturing these future curling stars. Support grassroots curling with Curling Alberta. Original 16. Celebrate things done well. Thank you to the local sponsors in Hinton supporting the 2024 Boston Pizza Cup presented by Best Western. Thank you to Diamond Sponsors, Tourmaline, Tech, and Reynaldi and Sons Contracting Limited. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. 
Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next curling stadium. Original 16. Celebrate things done well. Wonderful. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that seals it. Yeah, I think so. That's wild. Feral. So through five ends of this Alberta Boston Pizza Cup final, we have Team Slichinski leading Team Cooey. A great shot by Kevin Cooey there in the fifth end to extend this game. It could have been over pretty easily. An absolute pistol outturn double in typical Kevin Cooey style led to a blank end. So it will be Team Slichinski with the hammer leading by two. An update here from the Manitoba Men's Provincial as well. We did just see the end of that game and uh, Reed oh, Carruthers, yeah. now skipped by Brad Jacobs, did manage to pull off the win. They were one up without playing 10 and stole the point on Braden Calvert. So it will be Team Carruthers representing more. Manitoba at the more, yeah. Briar. Yeah, I agree. Incredible shot making just before the fifth end break. <laughs> precisely thin double out of Kevin Cooey and a blank end Man. out of Team Slichinski to frame Wait up yet. the sixth end after the fifth okay. end break. Just Chelsea, are, what are we started. seeing so far as we're halfway through this game okay. between our two okay. teams and from our two Wait teams? Still got a curl. Okay. Well, we've, so far we've this, seen Team Slichinski be a bit of a buzzsaw um, with, a, with a few struggles from, from Team Kevin Cooey, but they have actually made a lot of precise shots and put themselves in some good spots. And then we've seen just... Yeah. Absolutely deadly shot making from Team Sochinski to get themselves out of trouble every time. And, uh, you know, Kevin Cooey making, an, like I said, an absolute pistol of a double just to keep this game going basically in the fifth end. So unless uh, unless we see Team Sochinski blink, which is what Team Cooey is going to try to force them to do, they've been, uh, they've been in control of this game. However, we have seen Team Cooey come from behind a number of times already this week. So the game's never over if Kevin Cooey's involved in it. You know, and Chelsea, we talked Girl, over the break, and I don't know if you were live and people could still hear us, but we were talking over the break about the outcome of the Manitoba final and how it played on this final too as well. We've learned that it's probably for sure that both of these teams are going to the Briar. Do you think that has had an impact on the approaches of this game, a little bit of risk and reward, maybe the way that Kevin has played a couple of the ends? Yeah, I don't know if it changes the approach, but I think it has to be something that's in your mind, especially for Team Cooey, because they've known the whole event that they were going to the Briar either way, which has to be a bit of a weird feeling. Um, and maybe just affects your intensity level a little bit, your focus level a little bit. I'm sure they were aware of it and they were talking about it and trying to negate that as best they could. But you do have to wonder if it's a factor in some of the little, you know, slight miscues that we've seen that are a bit uncharacteristic of a team of that caliber. Nice. Now a great start here to the sixth end. This sixth, sixth end is brought to you by our presenting sponsor, like Best Western part? Hotels and Resorts. No. No. They are the this proud the, uh... accommodation partner of Curling Alberta. Best Western Hotels and Resorts is an award-winning global network of hotels located in over 100 countries and territories this that offer back. accommodations Four. for Backy. all types of Backy. travelers. Backy. They have been Backy. here as a partner Backy. of Whoa. Curling Whoa. and Curling Whoa. Alberta for over 20 years, and we Whoa. thank them so much Whoa. for their support as we are here in our sixth Whoa. end. Whoa. Whoa. Big scrub out of Tyler Tardy. 
to move things around and off the forefoot, still hanging on in the back 12. Ford? Yeah, he played here. Yeah, you said this exact shot. Shit. Now Aaron's just asking for Kerr Drummond to take, get rid of this red rock, but also to capture the flip underneath those two center line guards. Good way. Clean. Yep. Now a yep. lot of our viewers Four. at home might think there's two center line guards. We have the hammer. Hard. Why are we loading Whoa. things up underneath yep. our opponent's Hard. rocks? Hard. And also Whoa. taking Whoa. up that center line too as well. Stop. Nice. Yeah, and you, and you could have seen appeal there. They could have elected to do that, but because, and, and I think if that, yeah. if that Jacques Gauthier tap had Not been easy. made a little bit better, had, if had well, Chrome closed the nose, kind of then you probably would have seen Team Switchinski go up and peel, but because it like stayed field, on the yeah. high side and yeah. left the opportunity for the roll, you, you kind of switch gears a little bit and put the pressure back on Team Cooey here. Well, moving these yellows around, Chelsea, is not an easy feat. Talking about thin, hard. hard. There, I wonder if the triple it might be there. Ah. 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 Big sweep out of Karak Martin gets it by, and shoots the top right. yellow out and gets rid of the back one, sweep. still leaving two yellows in play, but a little bit more open now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately for Team Kui, leaving Team Slachinski sitting to with the hammer and throwing is a little less than ideal. That was, again, really close to being made. They're just a, a little bit wrong side of the inch this game so far. Clean. Sorry, yeah, Del, you got it. Routine peel by Kara <laughs> Drummond. Right. And puts Work. Team Cooey back in a situation where they have to make another precise hit and roll. That back yellow one, Chelsea, is negating a little bit of play here so far. Go quiet. Yeah, just yeah definitely. But the, the good news about just that back yellow one for Team Cooey is it potentially is a jammable oh, rock as well. Girl, so if you roll this girl, not all the way girl. under, you might get a jam out of Team Slachinski. We just haven't seen them miss very much, so it's hard to think that they're going to do that. Not quite underneath the guard, so Aaron Slachinski looking to do it himself here. Like board? Yeah. So that Manitoba men's tanker, do you see that that banner at the bottom? It was a very exciting game from what I can tell with the line score between Team Carruthers and Team Calvert. Team Carruthers ultimately winning that game by a score of six to three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, they stole two in that tenth well, end. Whoa, they were one up girl. coming home without girl. the hammer. Girl. So congratulations girl. to Team Carruthers, girl. now skipped by girl. 2014 girl. Olympic gold medalist girl. Brad Jacobs. Girl. They will be Team Manitoba yeah. 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 at the Montana's Briar. Girl. Nice. And kudos to our viewers at home for being able to navigate between two screens and watching two games very closely. Such an informed audience we have here today. Tyler Tardy looking to draw behind both rocks on the center line. Capture a little bit of real estate in the top of the four foot top button. There. Push Race back here. Yeah. You got to push. Looks like back it's here. running a little bit Curl early here. Back. Maybe a little heavy, they're calling. Curl. Curl. Yeah, just keep, yeah, keep, keep going. 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 Shot. Okay. We shot at them. So Slachinski sitting shot stone at the top of the eight foot, but that red rock just thrown maybe poses a little bit of problem and further conversation. We're shot, we rep, they hit, we forced. Rip hit force yeah. Chelsea. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> Seems like a good plan to me. <laughs> then we still might get a two with that fighter if they ever left us. Yeah. They're gonna to try to hit and roll to that side, yeah, and then we try to double. Then I'll try and we roll, roll frozen. To that side. Yeah, it's okay though. Then everything will be wide open. Like, where do we put a good one? I think yeah, Nikki, we're going in. You go behind. You gotta just, just bite pinhole. And then you can use. 
Not, not These are the rep, we're trying to get a running couple here. I don't think we go back. I think we're going like here. So time out here called. Coach Mickey Pendergast is out there to have conversation. Yeah, I agree. Well, we still have a pretty good shot of scoring if we come around too. Yeah, I agree, right? but I think we saw the chance at a deuce if I rip. Yeah. He makes the roll, and then I just got to make sure I roll. Both teams in this championship final have people on the bench. Team Slachinski has brought on Mickey Pendergast, a wonderful insight, an incredible history here in Alberta. And Team Cooey has Mike Libis with them. And they have both called upon their uh, people on the bench to give a little bit further uh, detail into some of their play throughout the week. It's important to have some extra eyes, Chelsea. Yeah, it definitely helps, um, especially with the experience level of those two guys, you know, bringing their bringing their insights and having another voice and heard heard the conversation there that scoring was the most important, which I agree with. You just don't want to give up a steal. We talked about that a couple ends ago. So right. coming to the more conservative call, which I think is smart. So Mickey Pendergast is an absolute veteran, definitely a legend in Alberta and coming through with uh, some solid advice. Nice Good throw by Jeremy Hardy and peels off the center line guard. And Chelsea, now taking it back to that insight from the coach's yeah. voice, we're thinking about a championship final for one team, been there, done that in Team Kui. But for Slachinski yeah, here, maybe a voice of reason, mm -hmm. maybe a voice of just confidence too as well. Yeah, we haven't really seen the nerves from Team Slachinski today, but it can't hurt to have that kind of calming outside presence because you can get wrapped up in the game you know I've, I've watched my own games before and and looked at the call that i was convinced was the right call at the time during the game and gone why on earth would you play that and then our coach comes out and says you know this is the call and i look at it and i go well yeah he's right obviously that's the call it, you can just get a little bit wrapped up in it um sometimes so having somebody like mickey be that calming presence and that voice of reason is super helpful especially to a team that doesn't have the experience level that a kevin cooey for example would have good good shot Kevin Cooey just yeah. hitting and rolling over, creating a little bit more distance and separation between his shot stone and the red rock at the yeah. back of the rings. And purposely rolling that way as we look at it on the screen to the right-hand side of the sheet. If you were to have rolled the other way, you might leave a double to sit two or to at least be sitting one um, for Aaron. But this way, there is no double. It's always going to jam on that yellow rock. So you guarantee that he can't throw that, which is a smart play by Kevin Cooey. Aaron Slachinski with his first stone here in the sixth end. Heavy. Looking to get heavy. rid of that red stone just Curl. thrown by Kevin Curl. Cooey. Curl. Roll it back to the Curl. center here. Curl. 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 Keep going. Curl. Asking a lot out of right Dylan Webster right here to make this thing move. Just a small roll to the center. Yeah. I like that same way. Just tighten it up. <clears throat> Like edge of rock. So Kevin will be looking to do the same thing, nose or a hair high or the broom side of the rock here. Yeah. It'll be sufficient for the force. Oh, was it shade? Shade well, you know, Chelsea, these look like just simple hit and sticks or, uh, you know, nose hits, but really the outcome is is super important here, recognizing that both skips are capable of making those really tough doubles. Yeah, definitely. You have to be careful for both these teams have to be careful because their opponents are really good at curling and, and you can't leave them those easy shots. So, yeah, it seems it seems simple to hit this on the nose or roll a little bit high side. But if you ever were to over curl this and roll to the other side of center line, you might give up two points. Well done by Kevin there. No mistake. So the force is on for Team Cooey. Yeah. 
Arian Slachinski out of the Airdrie Curling Club with his last stone here in the sixth end, looking to pick up his single Same point. Way, big, big. Hold on. Oh. Clean. 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 Yep. 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 Clean. Clean. Yep. Clean. Yep. 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 Sweepers yep. like it. Right to it. Right to it. Right to it. Right to it. Jeremy likes it. And just like that, another point goes on the scoreboard here in the sixth end as Lachinsky takes a four to one lead. Good end. Good throw there. So you're a pizza person, but you're married to a wing person, and your kids are salad people? You can't pick your fam, but with over 50 menu items to choose from, you can make them all happy. Order today and enjoy Boston pizza at home. Need extra space? We rock at storage. Try four weeks free at a location near you. Sentinel Storage. Proudly Canadian and proud sponsor of the Alberta Scotties Tournament of Hearts. Handcrafted in Canada, Hardline's Ice Pad has revolutionized curling for over a decade. Engineered with top-tier precision and durability, it is backed by an unmatched 10-year warranty. Designed for curlers at all levels to sweep effortlessly with maximum efficiency, it is trusted by the world's best curlers, including Olympic and world champions. It is quite simply the best brew in the game. Hardline. Join the revolution. New at Asham. Take your game to the next level with the Gushu Ultra Light. Equipped with our world-famous rotator disc system that attaches by Velcro, quickly and easily upgrade and replace your sliding platform. Check out our website at asham.com. So you're a pizza person, but you're married to a wing person, and your kids are salad people? You can't pick your fam, but with over 50 menu items to choose from, you can make them all happy. Order today and enjoy Boston pizza at home. I like it. La, la, lots of room. Whoa. Looks heavy. It's always curl. Looks heavy. We welcome you back to the 2024 okay. Alberta Lines, Boston Lines, Pizza yeah. Cup. We are here see. at you Seventh End Action play in, play in play our play championship play. final in the Bill Thompson Arena in Hinton, Alberta. Yeah, sure. It has been a doozy of a game uh, with incredible <laughs> shot making on both sides. <laughs> and we yeah. find ourselves in a final with Slachinski leading Coffee. four to one. Chelsea unmatched. This is one of the well. best provincial finals we've seen in a very long time so far. Some ifs and ahs, but nonetheless, great shot making. Come on there. Yeah, it's been a really interesting game. There's been some chances back and forth and some absolutely unbelievable shot making on both sides, but especially on the Team Slachinski side. They've, uh, they've come to play today, and, and I mentioned it earlier for... A team that's well, kind of, line, line, you know, line. reasonably new and a little bit less experienced in big games like this. They certainly have not shown any sign of nerves. It's very impressive. Now, when you're looking towards the later part of this game, Chelsea, and when we're looking specifically at the first couple of stones that, of course, our viewers aren't seeing at the time during commercial break, what are we looking for in our house setup here for both teams moving forward? Yeah, so before we had the uh, free guard zone and specifically the five rock free guard zone, you would have seen Team Slachinski running up as fast as they could to peel that corner guard that Kark Martin put up there. But of course, they're not allowed to now. So the best defense sometimes is a good offense. And what you usually will see teams do is what we call stack the middle. So a couple of rocks in the top of the four foot, top of the eight foot. And then probably a tight center guard will be coming up after this. You could see them throw a corner guard tick, which we see some of the teams do. Uh, for Team Slachinski just playing that stack in the middle, and I imagine you'll see a tight guard here. For Team Kui just having to get up those two corners, and then they're probably going to leave a lot of rocks in play. A little Rather than hitting stuff, it'll be tap backs, it'll be kind of that back eight, back 12 kind of way, just move things around. Any rock in play is a friend of Team Kui right now. Get around wide side on that one very easily. Yeah. 
Kerr Drummond and Team Slachinski. Team Slachinski is supported by Strike Group, Kelly oh, Turner yeah. Real Estate, Alarm. Hardline, Sundry Golf Club, oh, NLSS oh, Construction, Dynasty yeah, Curling Canada, you're Big on, Guns good. Industrial like, Maintenance, that RSM was, Canada, Clubhouse Golf Academy. My goodness, they've had a showing so far. And you know what? We've still got more ends of play to go. Yeah, it's been impressive to see them. The amount of work that they've put in this season, too. They've played more than just about anybody on the tour, with the exception of maybe Karsten Sturme. They, both teams have just played a ton. And putting in that work to climb those rankings, we've seen Team Slachinski at a couple of Grand Slam events because they've managed to climb the rankings up that high, which is, is great to see. It's not easy to do, and it takes a, a ton of commitment, both time-wise and financially and everything else. And watching them do it has been has been pretty cool. So good for them for putting the work in and uh room, room, it's paid room. off so far at this boston pizza cup we'll see if they can close this out well chelsea Maggie. you've talked about their experience and uh on tour it's, this year and it's in the grand slam events and aaron slachinski actually four. plays a couple of varieties of curling too as well he also plays mixed doubles with his wife amanda and they just won the mixed doubles championship the provincial championship for alberta so he has done a lot of curling himself and has seen a lot of different scenarios in a couple of different varieties of the game yeah and mixed doubles really does seem to expand their repertoire of a lot of players you're throwing a lot of different yeah. shots. You're sweeping your own rocks. I was lucky enough to play one mixed doubles event with Aaron actually, actually and he's an incredible athlete. He, uh, you know, I expected to be sweeping some and I didn't sweep any. He got up and swept his own peels and everything. It was really pretty impressive. So I think that that's certainly helped him in, in just the diversity of shot making. You're, girl, you're having to make draws, you're having to make girl, runbacks, you're having to be precise, girl, you're having to get up and sweep. Girl, so you're judging girl, weight girl. and you're looking at paths. It just adds a different element that four person curling, especially when you're skipping, doesn't always give you. Around the other one? Do we juggle the middle? Well, we also think about perspective weight. and perspective okay. on the game and playing different denominations of the game and different aspects of curling also allows you to kind of see those shots a little differently too as well because you're not only making them but you're managing the house in a ton of different scenarios for sure and mixed doubles by its nature is a lot of a lot of angles it's a lot of manipulation of angles because you're not allowed to hit anything for the first few rocks of the end so you see a lot of freezes and little taps around the center guard you can't remove anything for a bit so it forces you to think outside the box a little bit where you would default in four person curling sometimes to a big weight hit but you can't hit anything yet so you can't remove any rocks not just guards any rocks at all so it forces a oh, bit of a different perspective in that sense which is which i think really helps a lot of players in when they come back to the four person game with those the understanding of the manipulation of angles and what you can do without throwing it hard jock ochier oh, we're still back in whoa, 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 whoa. looking to establish some momentum here for Team oh, Kui in the seventh end. Straight, straight. Whoa, whoa, curl, 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 curl. Shot. It'll do the trick. Yeah, very nicely done there for Jacques for Team Kui. I mean, you'd obviously you would love a three, but you just need to hang a crooked number on the scoreboard here. Nice a two would, would play right fine. The they just need a bit of momentum, ball. like you said. We need to. They need to switch that momentum around a little bit. So looking to leave a lot of rocks in play, play so. some little freezes and taps and try to set up at least a two point score here. Yeah, just rip it. Okay. Where am I hitting half? Half a rock. Okay. Now as close as those two rocks seem, there is enough space for Jeremy to move these as he has a little bit of a speed wobble. Clean. Clean. To remove these two out of yep, play. Yep, these yep, stones yep, are so yep, lively. Yep, 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 oh. yep, yep. oh, wow. <laughs> what Not shot. the two I was thinking of. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful shot by Jeremy Hardy. Oh, and that's just been the story of the game. Whenever Team Kui looks like they have something going, you see a Wait. shot like this out of Team yep, Slachinski. Yep, like, yep, that yep, is just yep, such a hard yep, shot. Yep, 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 oh. yep, yep. And they called it the whole way. Like, this was the call. Shot. Yeah. Wonderful. Maybe Jeremy should have a speed uh, wobble on everything he throws. That was back pretty eight. impressive. Back eight. Eight. Clean. Back four, back eight. Back eight. Back eight. Yep. Tyler Tardy back being asked to move yep. these back stones eight. around just a little bit there to set up a pocket. Hold on, hold on. Off, back. off. Let it die. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Curl. 
Let it die, let it die, let it die. Good. Really good. Now, as wonderful as that Come double on. was, Chelsea, those yellows are starting to accumulate towards the back of the Three house here, two. which I think only benefits Team Kui in this yeah. situation, even though there's four of them in the rings. Can you just rip this? Yeah, yeah. yeah every yeah. rock is a Team Kui rock, rock at this point. It doesn't I'm matter what color yeah. it is. It's good for Team I'm Kui. So that was as good as he could have ever made that shot. It was an incredible shot, but it does still leave a lot of yellows yeah. bunched up in the middle here for Team Kui to play with and tap around and freeze to. So for Team... Slichinski not just looking to eliminate red rocks, looking to eliminate any rocks they can at this point. Whoa, curl up. Curl. So no speed whoa, wobble whoa, from hey. Jeremy Hardy whoa, there. Whoa, 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 whoa. However, Shot. just like that, sure gets rid of the red down. stone and takes one of his yellow stones with him at no consequence. Better than full eight. Yeah. No, I it simplifies it, it. Yeah. yeah. There's no pocket there now for Team Kui to freeze to. So, but what's good, the good news for Team Kui is that because they killed both of those, now, now this draw around the corner guard leaves you second shot rock, which changes the plan here for Team Kui. If, if they were only going to be third shot, it's hard to throw this, but now they can be second if they make this well. So, good news for both teams in a way. Both of you go hard. You got to get this buried. Hard, light skin. Keep going, you gotta go for way too. Hard, 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 hard. Hard! Okay, try. Okay. I thought you should roll. Yeah, just straight guard this, right? Yeah, just, just as long as there's no hole. Put yeah. in front of the house. So yeah. perfect line there. It looks like that might have come up just a just little bit short for Tyler Tardy. Yeah, I think guard. Right there? Yeah. Where's the broom? So Chelsea, as this end is unfolding, I'm just taking a look into the statistics of these two teams. And head to head, Kui is seven to three over Slachinski in their ten career meetings. However, Slachinski is one and zero against them this season. Yeah, and I think that that's a little bit of a testament to Aaron's always been a really talented player, but this is the first these last couple of years is the first time I think he's really gone hard as far as playing a lot on the tour, working really hard at the game. Uh, so that makes sense to me that that's starting to even out a little bit because he would have been younger and, and maybe not putting in the same kind of commitment level for those first few wins that Kevin would have had over him as compared to now. Those head-to-head -head statistics are a bit tricky when you've got a, an age gap between the, the two teams or two players that you're talking about. Good, good. Nice. That's good. Really good. Kind of like the run. Yeah. Oh, he's never playing the run. You catch it perfect, you might kill the back one too. Just kill shot. So now having to take a moment to really think about how this end is going to unfold here for Team Kui. Might be able to line up here, shooter, if you're lucky too. He tries to get in here. Trying to find a way to at least put a two up on the scoreboard. Go for this one. I guess you might block the run anyway. Yeah? I don't. So Chelsea, they're talking a lot about blocking and about preventing the opposition from, um, you know, making a double or clearing out some of their stones in play. What is the best make here for Team Kui? Well, I think, I think it was Jacques who said, and I. Like in a perfect world, you could you could actually make this to leave yourself sitting one. If you hit that, if you run this back onto that center line rock and hit it thin enough, that run rock will careem over onto that other yellow on the side of the eight foot there. And you just have to move that a, a few inches basically to end up sitting one. But I, I don't see much of an option besides to make this run and hope that you have a double or, or some sort of run combo on your last one. Yep. Yes. Yep. Hard. Hard. It's close. Good. And makes the double. Oh, it frees up that forefoot a little bit for Team Kui, yeah. but also allows an opportunity for Team Slachinski to get one buried underneath. You stay down. I'll watch it. 
Yeah, it did almost touch almost that side one, so yeah, they were close to yeah. getting the bonus there, but exactly. not quite. So at now, this the point, difference... Go on, Chelsea, sorry. Sorry. At, at this point in the game, I'm thinking that no matter where Aaron puts this, Kevin's going to look at a run double of some kind or or a straight double if it's left yeah. for him, obviously. So the big Line's thing good. for Team Slachinski here is to try to get these even enough or or have this one even deeper than the one on the side Line's so that you good. don't leave yeah, a run yeah, double good. for two points. And that's what I was just going to say too, as well as that attempting this draw, as good as it will be, there is that redstone that Kevin Cooey just placed when he made that double. Whoa, 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 whoa. Working hard to make this curl. That's pretty good. That lined up? Is the run lined up, guys? Run back for one or like? Oh, for two. The hair high nose. Yeah, just. I know it's hard. Heavy control. So Slachinski is hitting two shot stones here, one top four, and one at the back of the eight foot. Kevin's considering how he can make both of those move to bring that top 12 red behind the corner guard into play. So Chelsea, if you're Kevin Cooey here in Team Cooey, probably important in this situation to score. Like that ice? Yeah. Yeah, you have to score, but scoring one, you're probably never winning this game. So I think you you need to try this. And the the question here is if you can stick the run rock. The double the run double's there for sure, but can you stick that run rock for a second point? So they're not throwing this super hard because they need to stick the run rock here. Yep. Yes. Kevin Cooey with his final stone here in the seventh Hi. end, Hi. looking Hi. to make the run Hi. double. Hi. Hi. Yes, yes. Oh, oh. Just, oh. just over curls, jamming it at the back, and a steal of one yellow for Aaron Slachinski to go up five to one, moving into the eighth end here at the Boston Pizza Cup. Curling Alberta's 5050 supports grassroots curling with a jackpot of at least $100,000. I know. Brace yourself. Join us age 18 plus in nurturing these future curling stars. Support grassroots curling with Curling Alberta. Original 16. Celebrate things done well. So you're a pizza person, but you're married to a wing person, and your kids are salad people? You can't pick your fam, but with over 50 menu items to choose from, you can make them all happy. Order today and enjoy Boston pizza at home. Thank you to the local sponsors in Hinton supporting the 2024 Boston Pizza Cup presented by Best Western. Thank you to Diamond Sponsors, Tourmaline, Tech, and Reynaldi and Sons Contracting Limited. Good shot. 
We welcome you back to the 2024 yeah. Alberta Boston Pizza Provincial Championship well, here at the Bill Thompson her. Arena in Hinton, Alberta. Um, we are in we, eight ends of here. action. Yeah. The score is five to one for Team Slichinski. It has been an yeah. absolutely wild and feral ride so it's far. Cool. And Team Slichinski yeah, looks to be it. maintaining the edge over Team Kui so yeah. far here with the steal of one in the seventh end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. a little bit of story of the game there for Team Kui. Unfortunately, he was Kevin was probably about a millimeter from making that for two. It just over curled a hair and dead jams the back one and they give up the steal where if they if they get two points there, the game is totally different. So just wrong side of the inch here for Team Kui and a really impressive uh, display of shot making from Team Slichinski. Looks like a rocket. Which is, uh, top 40 line. We're bouncing a touch. Coming off. Bouncing a touch. Curl, 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 curl. nice. Curl. Nice, nice, curl. nice, get it onto it, curl. nice, go, go, curl. go, 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 So Team Kui here looking to establish their two corner guards with Karak Martin and try to get something going here as our game slowly comes to a closing. Oh, here, guys. Oh, looks, looks here. Three ends of play left. Switch if and Team Kui is really going to have to apply some pressure to Aaron Slichinski. They might have to get a little creative here, Chelsea. Yeah, absolutely. If, if there isn't a crooked number hung up here in this end, I, I think the game's pretty much over. So looking for at least two. Um, ideally more than that, obviously. You're running out of time here if you're Team Kui. And when we're looking at this five to one lead so far for Team Slachinski, as we watch Kara right. Drummond slide, we have it's to clean. think this person, this clean. guy throwing Apple. right now, Line has been good. absolutely Line incredible Line. towards Line. that difference on the scoreboard. Got a curl. Line. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I think every yeah. player on the Slachinski team Line. has had some highlight reel moments, but Kara yeah. has probably had more than anybody else. He's just played so incredibly well, not just this game, but all week from what I've seen. I'm sure you could speak to that better than I could have. Uh, it's been really impressive. It's his, his first stab at a Boston Pizza Cup, and he's absolutely making the most of it. Unlock and roll under, eh? Do you have room for that? And they're just yeah. so dialed in, Chelsea. Yeah. You know, and that's the one thing I noticed yeah. about Team Slichinski all week. And yeah, yes, they had a little bit there. of a slip up in the on their pathway to the playoffs with their loss to Team Sturme. But after that, it really has been just them and their systems and processes. Yeah, the, the rewards for playing as much as they have is that they've got the communication really figured out. They're not only throwing the rock well, but they're managing the rocks. That's what stood out to me in, in this game and in yesterday's game is the management. It's, it's that... You know, sweeping to curl at the right time and not over carving. It's the Gotta discussion go, back and forth about the weight and then the Gotta adjustment go. to the line call. It's the plan B. It's, it's the it's that rock management that I think they're doing an incredible job of. Good. It's good. Yeah. Girl. So Goche just moving those rocks on the forefoot around, trying to manipulate the, the house. That was guard. But a little Board. bit of space there. What if yeah, I like for care it. to remove not only the redstone but also that yellow behind it yeah i think as good as they could have done there but there is definitely behind, enough space to kill this yeah do you, do i don't you like hate that? it yeah i like it okay they gotta do some stuff in the middle still thick half at the end you might catch that okay Perfect. so aaron just pivoting here to play the peel maybe catch the double And you'd have to think, as Team Slichinski right now, that those corner guards could be an opportunity, a window of opportunity for Team Kui to get back into this game. So it makes sense that they'd make that decision at this point. Yeah, it's early in the end, too. You don't need to kill that rock in the house yet. You're just trying not to... You're okay giving up two. If you're Slichinski, you're, you'd love to force, but if you give up two, you're still pretty happy with that. You just don't want to bring in a three or a four here, which... We've yeah. seen 
Kevin Cooey do to a lot of people. Yeah. You, like the running joke is you got Cooey because <laughs> he does that a lot. Right. So smart, I think, there to just eliminate the guard and you can always hit that red later. And even if you don't, you leave him that little shot for two and you're okay with that. Well, and now is the time to Chelsea where the pressure is on and we might start to see a little bit of that pressure leak into some of the way that our teams are working out there. So keeping things simple, keeping things moving, the momentum is in Slichinski's hands right now. So they might as well take advantage of it. Try to get it back here. Try to get it back here. Team Kui working to bury this. Push it just behind the T line. Okay, Either rip the guard or this. Which which I have, right? I, I, I like both. Um, of course they like both. They've made all of yeah. them so far. <laughs> it's anywhere from like a third to a quarter. Third, okay. Yeah, it's pretty reminiscent of the shot that Jeremy Hardy made last in, actually. Does it if, if anything, it's easier. It's a little bit like uh, thicker. It's going to take this. I don't yeah. think this one. And if it leaves that one, that's fine then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's do that. I like this. Yeah. yeah, me too. So again, Team Slichinski just electing to keep things simple. Open up that rock on the side of the eight foot. And be able to kind of take back some of the control that they have in this game by keeping the house wide open. Yeah, this is smart. You need to get fancy here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I say, you're, you're pretty okay. You're more than okay giving up a two. So just get rid of the corner guards. Don't give them an opportunity at, you know, a three or a four, because that's what'll kill you here. Love it. Only thing is like, you don't want to give them a triple, right? Because he's playing the double. I don't think there's a triple there. But Tyler Tardy just making his way down to take a look at the house. Have a conversation with Kevin here about how they're going to move some of these rocks around to benefit them. While also maintaining the two stones that they have in the ring so far. That's almost queued up to go over there. I mean, he's always going to be able to hit the one year. Not if we... Well, he's, he's still hitting... He's hitting your shooter. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying if we can get this here, this will never go. No, I know. I mean, he might get it stopped. No, he's ripping it. He's ripping it. I this do. Point. I don't mind the draw. That was my first thought, too. You're right, though. That does. If it ever jams. It... Yeah, three's in play if it jams. Time out. So, Team Kui taking their first time out of the game. We might see Mike Libis come off the bench here like to take another look at the rings here and offer his perspective. This is a really good opportunity for Team Kui to also not only evaluate the situation, but also slow down the pace to really get some perspective here for the next couple of ends too as well. Oh, he's the one we want to win steal. Yeah, so I think it goes right into here. It might spin out, but if he doesn't throw it that hard, it will. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind leaving it for him. The only other... You kind of need a miss. So Kevin the alluded to having players, Jeremy throw that he's, peel. He's still just playing this yeah. guy. Like, yeah. even if you move this to here. Why do you think he maybe mentioned that? Like, the, the draw is the shot, eh? Yeah, yeah. I think what there's... Low on it. I think what, they're, uh, yeah. what they were referring to is that yeah, of between just, care... Just, and Jeremy and Aaron. Jeremy throws the least like weight on appeal. He, he doesn't throw it quite as hard as Aaron or Kerr would to, throw it. So yeah, if anyone's throwing a shot where you have to throw a bullet to make it, yeah, okay. no, they would like it to be Jeremy was the yeah, reference there. Because he's opening this up too. But yeah, you're right. Do you have any other ideas? I just, they might all. Yeah, I think he plays that. We need a miss. Go off wide draw speed card. Yeah. Back button. It's same as it's been. So time is in for Team Kui here. Yeah, recognizing that they are in a little bit of trouble and they're going to need a little bit of help from their opposition, but electing to play the freeze down to that yellow at the back of the forefoot. Yeah, this keeps the Red Rocks a little bit more spread out. If you play some kind of, you know, the, the conversation was around the freeze on the top. Little, line back little, little four foot line red, back. which looks like a really good option, but you might see a bunch of reds flying if you do that. So I like this. It leaves them a little bit more room. 
uh, leaves those reds a little bit more spread out to hopefully get some kind of a half shot by Team Slichinski and set up for your two, maybe three if you got a big, uh, a big mistake out of Team Slichinski. Just squeaking by. Great shot. Did wonderful control of that shot the whole entire way down. Yeah, well Trying thrown, well swept, made it perfect. Yeah, peel. Yeah. But like just higher. What's that? Three quarters or just higher? Uh, two thirds. Two thirds. Yeah. Three three quarters. Yeah, three quarters. Probably catches this. Yeah. Okay. Two thirds here. Make it. Yeah, this is dead straight. <laughs> yeah. So Team Slachinski looking to slash this top yellow stone into the red one. Potentially moving that yellow rock behind the redstone at the top of the forefoot. Yep. Oh. Yep. But watching whoa, where whoa, it'll whoa. go. Yep. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. That's close. That's good. Shot. Oh, got the side one too. That's a big bonus there for Team Slachinski. Huge bonus for Team Slachinski. They have really been dialed in on yep. point. Oh. Yep. And Jeremy Hardy, too, has some of the consistent yep. doubles and shots that he's yep. made this evening. Whoa, 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 whoa. A huge asset to Team Slachinski yeah. tonight. Yeah. yeah, there hasn't been a weak link on Team Slachinski tonight. They're, uh, they're all playing pretty lights out. Up for Tyler Tardy's last stone here in the eighth end. Looking to freeze that top yellow stone. Room, inner room, maybe. It's good. It's good. It'll go a little bit. Yeah, you can't balance on this line. Okay. Can't balance on this okay. line. Okay. Doesn't quite make it to nose, Chelsea. Nice That's fair, buddy. I think it's pretty good though. But if you make it job. to nose, yeah. If you make it to nose, you might leave uh, an option to drag it and maybe kill them all. I think yeah, that that's a pretty good spot. I sure. We can so. miss ours. Would have liked yeah, it to curl an inch ours. more, maybe. It's probably going. Yeah. Over. I think it goes. I think it goes, Greg. Like a third of a I rock. I think one's always going to go, right? The oh, one. Yeah. yeah. A third. I think it misses yeah, this. It's like it's so they're looking at the yeah, angles here, pointing out that there's just a little bit of space between yeah, the yellow and the red, that maybe with a third of the stone, they right might there. be able to slip yeah. it by and catch the top of the red, if not come off the side of that yellow and nick the top of that red one yeah. just behind the T-line. Yeah, I think if it hits the yellow, you don't make it. I think they're thinking they're trying to miss the yellow altogether to, to have a chance of getting both. But as long as you kill one red here for, for Aaron Slichinski, you're pretty happy. So you can kind of take a rip at this pretty risk-free. Because I think you're always going to kill at least one red. Yep. Well, yep. First yep. stone here for Aaron Slichinski in the eighth hard, end. Hard, 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 hard. Dylan Webster working hard on the broom. And just like that. <laughs> what a shot. Called and made. Aaron Slichinski. You got to be kidding me, Chelsea. This has been marvelous. Yep. Well, yep. Yep. Hard, 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 hard. hard. Hard, 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 hard. Take a look again at this, friends at home. And how and easy calmly, those two rocks moved. Oh yeah, they flew out of there for fun. And he just calmly said, I think they both go if you if you do. Like he just Aaron is just a he's a bit of a silent killer. He's he's unflappable emotionally. He's very even keel and he just i mean he's playing so well that he's seeing everything and, and he saw that right from the get-go. Good. Just hang on. Kevin Cooey with his first stone here in the eighth end. As long as you're in. Wait's good. Root, root. Just bite the ring. Looking to freeze that stone in the house. Nice good. Back 12. Set him up for a potential opportunity at scoring two. It looks like, oh, maybe they were playing around the whole entire time. Now is it going to hang around? Holds on to the back of the 12 foot. 
Yeah, I would Which think that was partially buried. Yeah, like yeah, I would think that was the call the whole way because the freeze, he's always going to be able to blast it out of there. Now you've got to hope he misses a run back or a chase. Enough to see Chelsea to get rid of it. Oh, for sure. It's a matter of what's easier. You could the chase is there and the run is there. It's it's just a preference thing at this point for Aaron. I think we yeah, like this. Yeah, you yeah. can pick it if you want. Oh. Like whatever you're saying. Don't need to stay. No, I don't. But I'm just I just like to hack weight. Okay, I like it then. Could this be the first time? When was the last time that somebody not named Brendan or Kevin won Alberta Men's Provincials? Eons. The answer <laughs> is eons. It might be Aaron Slatinski about to turn yes. the tides well, here. Yep. Yeah. Easy, easy, easy. Clean. Whoa, clean, whoa, clean, clean, whoa. Clean. clean. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Clean, whoa, whoa. Curl. Curl. Curl it. Curl. 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 Right to it. Right to it. Just like that. Ah. Team Sluchinski removes that back red stone, sitting the single stone here at the top of the forefoot. And Team Kui is really down to the wire here. It's just hard to feel like it. All of all of Team Sluchinski just came out today as if they were, no matter who they were playing, no matter what was happening, they were just not going to lose this game. Little snug on release. No worries. And that, my friends, is the blank end here in the eighth end at the 2024 Boston Pizza Alberta Men's Provincial Championship. Tyler. Need extra space? We rock at storage. Try four weeks free at a location near you. Sentinel Storage, proudly Canadian and proud sponsor of the Alberta Scotties Tournament of Hearts. New at Asham. Whether you're in the hack or kicking back, live it in style in the new Throw and Stones line exclusively by Asham. Curling is more than a sport, it's a lifestyle. Check out our website at asham.com. Curling Alberta's 5050 supports grassroots curling with a jackpot of at least $100,000. I know. Brace yourself. Join us age 18 plus in nurturing these future curling stars. Support grassroots curling with Curling Alberta. I don't remember a time when curling wasn't a part of my life. When I wasn't putting in the sweat and hard work to be the best that I can be. Clocking in the time, the effort to practice day in, day out. Curling is more than just a game. It's a family, a community. And when it's time to play, I know I'll be ready. Hardline, supporting hundreds of our next generation. Thank you to the local platinum and gold sponsors, Sniper, 24-7 Compression, Quadra, Octane Controls Limited, Ascend, Wild Hate Oil Field Services Limited, Stitch and Print, and Sound Scaffolding. Hard. Hard. Get the line. Get Viewers the line. across Canada and the world, we welcome you back to the live stream of the 2024 Alberta Boston Pizza Cup Championship Final here at the Bill Thompson Arena in Hinton, Alberta. My name is Evan Asmussen. Joining me is Chelsea Carey today. And my goodness, Chelsea, it has been the performance of a lifetime, but one that is absolutely expected as we've seen from Aaron Stachinsky all week and really all year. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you look at this game and you have to think that Kui is the favorite. And and they are the favorite, but what a week by Team Slochinski and what a game by Team Slochinski. They've just like, been incredible we're, we're just today. And, the, you know, I expected to see some nerves and we just, we haven't seen any sign of that. They really put on a clinic 
with shot making so far today. Now, hopefully that's not a commentator's curse by me, but um, yeah. yeah, it's what it's been something to watch. What if we put it here? Now, Chelsea, we talked about how both these teams got to this position today through their draw. And we saw Kevin Cooey, as you were commentating the semifinal this morning, uh, get here through the semifinal. And we saw Aaron Slachinski get here by winning that 1-2 game. What are the pros and cons and the benefits to having that bye to the final versus coming in through the semifinal? Do they traditionally bode well for one team or the other? And what are we seeing here today? Yeah, it's a good question. I, I think, and I don't know about the Alberta men's provincials, but I think if you were to look at the Briar and the Scotties, the team that wins the 1-2 game has won more finals than not. The, the downside of that is that you have all this time off and you have to know what to do with it, how to prepare yourself for this final. There can be some nerves creeping in, especially for younger teams, where if you win the semi, then you're coming off a win, you know the ice, you're feeling really confident going in, but it also means you have less rest. So... Often we can see the the winning the one two game mess with a younger team um, with their heads a little bit maybe they they get a little bit stiff they get a little bit nervous where that hasn't happened at all with Team Slochinski today the benefit to winning the semi in theory if you knew you were going to be in the final you'd rather win the semi because you have the momentum and you know the ice and and all these things but uh, we haven't really seen that be the case today for Team Cooey so. Not bucking the trend in the sense of the the team that won the one two game looking like they're going to win this game, but bucking that trend a little bit in in the sense that Team Cooey just doesn't hasn't really seemed fully comfortable with the ice, which is surprising to me. And I was just going to make that mention here, Chelsea, too, as well. Now we were listening into their pregame pregame practice, and we overheard them talking about some of the conditions. And then as the first few ends went on, we looked at. Uh, some of the shots that Kevin was calling and how unsure they were of putting the broom down. Now, of course, we've got to this point in the game where it's 5-1 to one for Team Slachinski, but you got to wonder a little bit if maybe the conditions, maybe the two different times today have just changed and have been enough of a change to create some impact on, on Team Cooey's performance. Yeah, for sure. You would think that, that playing in the semi would prepare you better, but we didn't really see them... In the semi, we didn't hear them talking about, you know, this path is, is five feet slower and, and any of those it. kinds of things until the 10th end. We oh, saw the speed maybe come down a little bit. Yep. So it seems like it maybe back has changed backboard. on them a little bit more during this game. But so you would think that would level the playing field and, and maybe it has. Maybe that's been the difference. But yeah, just a surprising lack of confidence. And when you're on the wrong side of the inch, it's also easy right as a there. skip for that to yeah. mess with your head a bit to, you sure. know, you're overthinking everything and you're, and you're doubting yourself well, because you're, you're not quite yeah. making things perfect, even though you're really close. It, it just, sometimes in finals, it like just seems like it's meant to be. And, yes. and so far in this whole game, it feels like it's been Better meant to be team, for Cap. Team Slichinski. Try and make a big pocket for these. Is the split any good? Like I said, though, Kevin Cooey, of all of all people, don't you don't here. count Kevin Cooey out. If a game, if they the haven't best. shaken hands yet, yeah. it is not over. He's unbelievable at uh, pulling off comebacks out of nowhere. It's a bit of a rabbit out of a hat situation sometimes. Well, we do recognize that there are two ends of play left as well. And we do have that five rock rule and the no tick rule too. So there are lots of opportunities here in the next, uh, the next couple of ends to really see if they can pull something out of their hat. Ah, Kev? Yeah. Looks like mine. Can I get a little less? Still looks like Matt. So what we talked about it a little bit, uh, or sorry, I, I heard it talked about by Darren yesterday in the 1-2 game. Kevin Cooey is a very, very smart player. And sometimes when he's at his yep. best is yes. situations like this where he's getting creative. Oh, and I would call this a creative call. Yep. He's, oh, we're talking oh. kind of back line or so. Oh. Try to unlock this oh, this dead street, frozen street, these two dead frozen street, guards. Top one of them into the house, maybe onto these two yellows, and roll the shooter to a corner guard. Just like that. Now there is a double lined up there. Yeah, I think that's as good as he could have made it. You were always going to bring that into play for for Team Cooey. They're going to need misses um, out of Team Slichinski, which we haven't seen so far. But there's there's still time. Yeah. Like this. Yeah, you got it, 
here. Drummond and yep, Team Stachinski looking to make this hard. double here. Hard. 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 Roll it right out. Go, go, Jerry, go. Uh, okay. So taking a look at our scoreboard and recognizing that there's only two ends of play left. Over the last three seasons, when Aaron Slachinski is up to without the hammer with two ends to play, he is 16 and 0 over the last three seasons. And over the last three seasons, Kevin Cooey is 1 and 13 down to with the hammer with two ends to play. And this season, Cooey is 0 and 5. Top eight. Top eight. That's yeah, a tough scoreboard line for sure. Right straight. I don't imagine straight. there's many teams in the world that have a good straight. record in straight. this straight. situation straight. Straight. if you're Team Cooey, but okay. stranger things have happened. And strange things are looking to form on our screen as we speak. Quite the little compilation there around the center line. Stop. Do we ever? Yeah. I'm good with whatever. Straight rip. I, do we ever? Ball, that that red one is pretty teed up for the next it's one. It's hard right? not to kill both of these. Okay. They both go. Yeah. You make yeah, let's contact. do it then. Where, where okay. is it? Like three quarters. Three quarters. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, and even if, if you go right but into even it, even if it's you slam them. it and jam it into it, yeah, these yeah, are exactly. gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you could even go over the top, and yeah. all three still might go. Dude, this is gonna yeah. go right here. Three quarters. Yeah. So looking to run this red stone on the center line back into the reds in the rings. Two birds with one stone. Maybe three. <laughs> Maybe three. Maybe all of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Hardy here. Wayne. And just looks to be peeling off the guard. Great peel, yep. Yeah. Which is an acceptable outcome. That was the tolerance there for Jeremy Hardy. I do think all three of them could have gone up, if you ran that in there but uh, still a pretty a good shot weight, but... now we've got oh, team Cooey yeah. here really working taking a time out to have a conversation about what to do next team Cooey out of the glencoe curling club in calgary alberta has a great support by transalta twin anchors houseboats selco heavy rents hardline the ranch golf course and of course all of their fans yeah but I mean, if you're rolling that far, this guy's not staying there. <clears throat> and speaking of the fans, they've really been treated today on both sides like, to some marvelous yeah. shot yeah. making. Might get the five to spin. To a, I'm just worried about leaving a five six double, but as long as they're all even. Yeah. Yeah, like this should spin down pretty good, eh? Yeah. Like if this is ever lower than the six, there's yeah. never a double. Yeah, make it that way. I don't mind that. Probably like a heavy board. Yeah, I'll just put this to here. Hope something lines up. I mean, yeah, you're you're really just this is the one. So as we're listening in here, Chelsea, are you, what are they trying to configure with the, these two red stones here at the top of the house? You really, if you do hit that and roll that way, you line this up at least. Well, I think yeah. that the challenge is exactly what I we just, just... I see him coming off this all day. Yeah. Like, right? Sorry, You're just listen to them for a second here. here. This is not going very far. If we're doing this, I think we got to play the intern. If we play the out, this might kick too far. Oh. Yeah, it'll out. spin lots with the intern. I agree. we got to keep that right there. I don't mind your shot. Like, Whatever you think lines them up. Yeah, but I mean, if you're pushing this to there, and if it clips this here, yeah. it might still line up, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. I don't think it ever touches it. But just the getting seven. that in there. And no, it touches it. it. Definitely touches it. Okay. I'll put them in. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I, I, we, do, I do think it's the intern, though. Get the weight in. Is he still just coming off this? That's why he's these gonna these, try. these have to line up. He's going to try somewhere. to catch our shooter with Yeah, them. yeah. that's why we need these to yeah. somehow. Hopefully it'll, be, good. it'll be close. Sure, whatever turn you like. I mean, I guess the intern for sure. Like so half. they're just trying not to leave a triple here, Board. basically, is the, yeah, they, they got to move those two reds because, as we said, lots. with the run back, those two just board, yeah, sure. reds fly out of there Board. Board. pretty easily. If you throw an out turn, you don't even have to throw it that hard 
out turn off the center line and, and those fly so try to move those around they know they're going to leave at least a double on this top red rock that they're about to tap and their shooter that's going to cross the face of it they're just trying to line it up so that the back rock goes onto a yellow and jam somewhere good board hard hard it's okay Tyler Tardy here in the ninth end, <clears throat> trying to move these red stones around, around, preserve some of the work they've done so far. I think that's okay. I don't think it drags onto that back red. It's close. Okay. Like that. Just inside nose. What's that? Just inside nose. Yeah, or just go outside. Be nice to open this one up. Okay. Yeah, yeah be nice to just rip them out of there. Okay. Three quarters high. Okay. <clears throat> So looking to make the double and roll and open up that back red stone. Yeah. Jeremy Hardy here in the ninth. Hard. Whoa, whoa, hard. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Roll that way. Roll. Hard. That should do the trick. Yep. Good result there. They were, I don't think they were ever getting all three. So just trying to at least make the double and leave it open enough for yourself to make a play on that back one. That's, yeah. That looks like a lot of rice. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a little less. Now our ninth end here of curling is brought to you by Sentinel Storage, Original 16, Bel Air Direct, and of course, all of our wonderful local sponsors too. Mine's good. That have been a part of this event since Tuesday last week. <clears throat> Sochinski leading five to one. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. This thing has keep going, I know. Keep going. Keep Martin going. and Goche really working this stone. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Peace on you, peace on you. And a good brush it is. Great shot. Sweet. I did leave it a little bit open. Is that double there, Chelsea? Yeah, I, perfect, like, yeah, I do think it's there. It's hard. That high on it, isn't it? It's got to get by that one at the top of the button and also by that one on the side of the 12 foot. Are we? Yeah. While still navigating the corner guard. We're two. Yeah, I think it's there. I'm not sure it's worth taking on, to be honest, but I do think it's probably possible, but really tough. You've got to hit that first one very thin to get the second one low like your shooter needs to hit the second one so low that it shoots it straight sideways and then it's got to go if you flip a little with normal then they're you know 10 10 feet or so it's a long way for that to get out we've seen the capacity and the capability of team slachinski so far we know the kinds of shots that they've been making but they've also throughout the game elected to take on some of the simpler shots keep it easy for them and really accomplish their goal and their game plan yeah, yeah you get rid of this one i wouldn't be surprised if they just yeah. take a look at the single well but the challenge is there's not a great hit on the on that center line red it's not easy right so you're probably the easiest way to get rid of the the red that's in the full eight foot is to run your yellow onto it but if you ever miss that somehow you bring in the opportunity for a three potentially so this way as long as you kill this outside rock like as long as you make contact with the first one then whatever happens in the middle, you, you're likely not giving up more than two. So I, I still like the call. I, I you know, can he make this? Oh, Maybe. Hard, but as long as he kills hard, one hard, red, it's mission hard, accomplished hard, for hard, Aaron Hard, 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 go, hard. Go, go, go. hard. I got it. Uh, oh, 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 okay. So removes the red that is just tucked behind the yellow corner guard, promotes that other red stone yeah, so onto the one on the top of the Please, forefoot. Yeah. As close as he can to cross. Yeah, yeah so I brought that corner guard into play more than I back, expected. Yeah. <laughs> so window of opportunity for Team Kui here. Oh, 
Yeah, looking for back four here for Mine's Kevin Cooey. It's going to leave the Reds grouped, but you don't have a choice at this point. You just you have to hope for a little bit of a miscue from Aaron. Mine's good. Just there. Just there. Okay. Alright. Come on, buddy. 15-2 hog to hog. Come on, you're girl. Would suggest to me that this spot is still pretty quick. Just rubbed off the top of oh. the red in the forefoot here. Again. Took a little bit of momentum out of that stone. Yeah, I hate to say story of the game, but it kind of is. If they get that by, it's probably dead nose frozen on that back yellow and it's not going anywhere. Now this gives Aaron a chance at the run double. That's just, <laughs> you got to feel for Team Kui. They're, they're so close to good things and it just hasn't quite worked out for them all game. Aaron Slachinski with his final stone in nine. Looking for the run double. Well, close. Hurl. Well, hurl. Girl, hurl, girl, hurl, girl, 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 girl. Wasn't able to make the double, but was able to remove the top red stone in play, leaving an open draw here for Team Kui for their two points. Can wait. Should be fine for yeah, Lilo, guys. Clean it. You need it? No, no, no. Just, just to it. We're perfect. Sweepers yeah. like it, Chelsea. Mine's good. Yeah, listen to that for, for the young players watching that. Listen to all of that. That's Kevin Cooey giving some feedback on how he thinks he threw it. The sweepers chatting back and forth about what they think the way it is. That's just great shot management. And will result in the two points for Team Cooey. So it will be a 5-3 lead for Team Slachinski. Carlin Alberta presents the 2024 Boston Pizza Cup, presented by Best Western Hotels and Resorts, brought to you by Boston Pizza, dedicated to establishing strong relationships with the community and supporting local sports. By Best Western Hotels and Resorts, a curler's home away from home. By Curling Alberta, spreading the power of sport through curling and inspiring the curlers of today and tomorrow. By the Hinton Curling Club and the local hosting committee. By the Town of Hinton, a community of opportunity. By the dedicated local sponsors and produced by Curling Stadium to bring the excitement to you. So you're a pizza person, but you're married to a wing person, and your kids are salad people? You can't pick your fam, but with over 50 menu items to choose from, you can make them all happy. Order today and enjoy Boston pizza at home. Everything I've worked for, everything I've sacrificed, led to this. It's out of your hands now. All the gold medals in the world can't help you now. You can throw the perfect rock and still miss, but it just takes one. You leave it all out there on the ice to leave behind a legacy. New at Asham. Take your game to the next level with the Gushu Ultra Light. Equipped with our world-famous rotator disc system that attaches by Velcro, quickly and easily upgrade and replace your sliding platform. Check out our website at asham.com. And we welcome you back to our final end of play here at the 2024 Alberta Boston Pizza Cup. Chelsea, 
This has been absolutely wild. An incredible story so far. Kui picks up two points here in the ninth end. One has to wonder if it's too little, too late. Yeah, it certainly feels that way. But again, stranger things have happened. You just you try to make Aaron throw against three here and hope that it his rock picks or something. I mean, that's all you can do. But we're going to see Team Sluchinski hit, hit everything in sight and Team Kui keep everything in play possible and give themselves some freezes and some ball. taps and Stop just try ball. to keep some rocks in play ball. and in a perfect world Easy sit. Here. Sit three and then hope for okay. a for a pretty big ball. miss. Okay. I don't love okay. the chances ball. of that no, given no, how well Aaron Slachinski has four. played, Jeremy but that's big. that's your only hope. Now Chelsea as our event winds down. And as all the games come to a close here at the Alberta Boston Pizza Cup, you and your colleagues and all of the commentators in the booth this week have been absolutely marvelous in presenting and showcasing curling to all of our viewers here in the province with great insights, with deliberate calls, and of course, with a little bit of fun entertainment with the insides on some of these athletes. I know that it's been a long week for both of these teams for the whole entire event, but to have such an incredible game this far, unbelievable. Absolutely, and you know what? There's a good chance we're going to see this game again at the Briar. Yeah, sorry, Doc. Good girl. And speaking of the Briar, as it looks right now, we might be treated to a few Alberta matchups. Yeah, I think you're going to see. I mean, Botcher's obviously already in, and it looks like it's going to be Slachinski. And if it is, then Kevin Cooey will get in as a wild card. So, likely seeing three Alberta teams at the Briar, which is awesome. I know our fans at home. Would love to see that happen. They can't wait. They're going to mark it on their calendars when it comes around. But another way that you can, right at the very end, viewers at home participate here, is by purchasing your last-minute tickets for the 50-50. Our total pot for tonight is 16290 You're going to take half of that home, and the other half is going to go to the Hinton Curling Club. It's a pretty nice number. It's like a reward for watching curling, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I love that. I've watched a lot of curling in my life. Whoa, I wish whoa, I got whoa. more rewards for it. Yep. A little more. Whoa. Yep. One more. Yep. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Curl. Straight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Curl, 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 curl. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 nothing on the shooter. No. Good shot. Okay. Try it. Very good. So a little hit and roll behind the center line guard for Team Kui trying to create something in the house there that they can use to steal a few points here yeah, in the last end. One. If you can't jam it into this, okay. this is no good. Pocket. Yeah. Having this. But with this setup so far, Chelsea, game not over. over the top, it's fine too. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely yeah. not over, but Aaron makes a great point there that you, you would love for, for there to be an option for this to jam into that yellow and stay, but there isn't. So a straight peel is okay, but if Kara takes any of those rocks in the house with this, he's very happy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my God. Just jams on the side. <laughs> Aaron lied to us. <laughs> <laughs> Fractions, and that's doing a whole different thing. I mean, still not huge risk here for Team Slachinski, but like I said, for Team Kui, all you're trying to do, all you're trying to do, I say that like it's a small thing, it's not, is sit three at the end of this end and make him throw against the loss. Whoa, 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 whoa. let's stop, let's stop, let's stop. Good. Good. I don't know, do we, do we ever guard these other ones? Or I can rip this into one. What if we ever just double those back ones? Huh? He... He's got a lot of work still. Like he'll have to run? He's got a lot of work. You always want to hold time here? How are we running in? I don't care. I yell and I break his claw. Sure. Yeah. Okay. You guys want to hold time? Or you no, I like it. Okay. <clears throat> Selecting not to t call a timeout right now, but to head over to the side of the sheet. And get rid of these two hard, reds here. Hard, 
Hard, hard, hard. Jeremy Hardy. Hard, hard, keep going. Hard, hard. Gotta go. hard. Gotta go. Glenn. 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 Sarah Drummond really working on it. Glenn. Both of them go with ease. And as you see the crowd in the background there, you can't help but notice the tightness as our knowledgeable crowd is starting to understand what this end is really going to represent here in just a few short stones. Now the question is, is who's going to be the champion out of it? So far it's looking like Team Slachinski as they lead 5-3 here in our 10th end of play. Easy. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's fine. That's not over yet. Team Kui being sneaky as always. So Tyler Tardy drawing behind all of the minutia on the center line, right to the back of the eight foot, creating another level of complexity here for this end. If we PL, are you going to have an easy shot or no? Time out. So just taking a look at the time behind Team Slachinski over there, calling that time out aware that they are yeah, going to have to yeah, make yeah. some decisions here and needing like a little bit of extra time. Like the Summoning time. Mickey Some Pendergast again. Yeah. And now yeah, exactly. so if we peel, I might be, yeah. might stand to be corrected, but I believe long. that He's Mickey Pendergast back. lost the provincial final for sure a semifinal. And if the outcome works in Slachinski's favor today, this might be his trip to his He's very first briar. Another or something. I don't know. Would love to see that for him. We would all love to see that for him. And for the rest of the group too as well. He has a board mm -hmm. to like it chip it and sit free or something. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Sit. Now let's grip it. So what have they decided here, Chelsea? They're just going to peel this guard. And I like this call because Kevin Cooey still, like I've said, is trying to sit three somehow. There's no way I don't think on the, the way the rocks currently are that he can sit three. I, I think it always, that yellow always jams on the back red. So he's still got a lot of work to do. I, I think this is a smart call. Jeremy Hardy with his yeah, final hard, stone hard, here in 10 hard, of the Boston hard, Pizza hard, Alberta hard, 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 Championship. Hard, 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 trying to make hard, a good one. Going, Roll it out. Good. Good sweep. Good sweep, K. Okay. <laughs> you know, as we head into Skip's Rocks here, Chelsea, and if you're Team Slachinski, I know the work isn't done yet. There's two more stones still here for them to play. But you really got to be happy with your performance so far today in this provincial final. Oh yeah, they've played incredible, all, all of them really, like top to bottom, just a just a pure Washington show of three, but hard. great shot making and um, I, I don't mind that role in in a big game and against a very well known three, team that can three. you know player that can be pretty intimidating and Kevin Cooey. It's like really just been impressive to, to watch. The level of performance that they yeah, brought in this game. Kind of like that back 12 I threw two ends ago. Okay. Okay. Love that. You know, and I think about Team Kui here this week too as well, Chelsea. And though if they lose this game, the outcome might be disappointing. As a new foursome or as a rearranged foursome, really they've had such a great week to themselves. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, both teams have put on a show here this week and it's been... Really fun for all of us as viewers to watch all the great games and the momentum shifts and the great shots and the misses and everything. It's been a blast of a week. And like I say, luckily, we're probably going to see both of these teams at the Briar regardless. So we might get we might get treated to more of this. Yeah, shade thinner. So promoting that redstone just behind the T-line off to our left as we see it, but setting up a, a little thin double there for Aaron Slachinski in his first stone here in the 10th end. Yeah, and if he makes this, it's basically game over. So big shot here for Aaron. 
Yep. Yep. Hard. 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 Go. Hard. Hard. Oh, whoa, whoa. So yeah. a little thick and over the top. Removes one stone out of play. But gives Kui the opportunity to potentially sit three and the loss or the win, however you want to look at it, into view. Which was their goal at the start of this end. So you make this and you hope for a miscue from, I mean, I don't think he's going to flash it. So best case is an extra end, but you hope you get a rollout from Marin Slachinski. Now, of course, we're always looking at the score clock when Kevin Cooey is throwing in 40 <laughs> seconds on the board. That is tons of time for Team Cooey here to throw this last stone. That is eons for Kevin Cooey. <laughs> he could play a whole end in 40 seconds. <laughs> Final stone for Kevin Cooey here in the 10th end. Looking to remove this yellow stone out of play and sit three. Trust board. Yep. Yep. Wait, it's good. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. <coughs> Keep it there. Keep it there. Whoa. Keep it. Whoa. 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 Yep. Girl. 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 Whoa. Go, 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 Girl. go, go, go. Oh, whoa. Oh. No, 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 no. That's good perfect. It's perfect. Perfect. perfect shot. Well, it's not over till it's over, Chelsea. That's good, Kevin. Perfect. Uh, Kevin? Seems disappointed. I think he wanted to stick that closer, but I, I think that's, I agree. I think that's pretty perfect. I throw it hard at that. Yeah. Well, you know, Chelsea, just a few short weeks ago, we watched the Alberta Sentinel Scotties and we saw it come down to its final stone between Selena Sturme and Kayla Skirlick. Shot for the win. We've got a couple of options here. Now, if this is you and you've been in this situation before, Chelsea, you're seeing the broom go up here for the championship point. What are you thinking? Yeah, I, I mean, I think this is the most natural yeah. call, but if you ever Wait. feather the top Wait. one, you could yeah. lose the game. I think Wait. I'm hitting yeah. the top, that top Wait. red rock and Wait. trying to roll in or Wait. trying to make yeah. the double. Yeah. Yeah. Clean, clean, hard. Love to hear that word. Yeah, love clean. And just like that, Alberta and Canada, you see it here right now. Team Slachinski, your 2024 Alberta Boston Pizza Cup champions, and your Team Alberta at the 2024 Montana's Briar. Congratulations, Team Slachinski. Look at that, Sally. What an amazing week for Team Slichinski. What an amazing game. He's going to find that color now. And kudos to Team Kui. They had a marvelous week. They were faced with tough competitors from across the province within these wonderful borders. And we couldn't be more proud to see these two teams here this evening. Team Slichinski with the final shot. I know. Wonderful. Just absolutely wonderful to see a new name on that trophy here in 2024. <laughs> so Boston pizza moment of the game, Evan. What are we going Drum with? roll. Drum roll. You know what, Chelsea? You know exactly which one it's going to be. We talked about it at the start of the game. Who is going to be the catalyst? Who is going to be the spark under this team? And where the matchup truly lied in this game? And we saw it at the second stones. And you know the one and only with that incredible shot. Take it away, my friend. Yeah, it is one of the best shots I've ever seen in my life. Uh, Kara Drummond made a triple on three guards and ran one of them back into the house and killed a Red Rock and spun another Red Rock out. It was absolutely unreal, and, and for me, that's the Boston Pizza moment of the game, going to Kerr Drummond. So congratulations, Kerr Drummond, in your Boston Pizza moment of the game, and congratulations to Team Slachinski. What a marvelous week. We know you're going to represent all of us competitors, the town and the communities in Alberta, Hinton itself, Bill Thompson Arena, and all Albertans. We are so proud to watch you move forward into the Montana's Briar here in just a few short weeks.
and fans and viewers at home, if you are kicking around, the medal presentation is just going to be happening in a few short moments here, where we're going to see our newly crowned provincial champions. And well-deserved at that. There's nothing quite like winning your first one and that celebration is fun to watch and it, it brings back a lot of memories and gets me a little bit emotional. This is just awesome to see and very happy for this team. They played so well all week and they played absolutely unbelievable today. And to your point, Evan, we'll be amazing representatives of Alberta at the Briar. We'll also see Team Cooey there. So just couldn't be better for Alberta curling. We get three teams at the Briar, which is absolutely unreal. So viewers at home, viewers across the nation, on behalf of Curling Alberta, on behalf of the hosting committee, the players, and our organization, my name is Evan Asmussen. I've been joined with the lovely two-time Scotties champion, Chelsea Carey. We have been so thankful for all the other broadcasters who have joined us this week to provide you non-stop coverage to Curling Stadium and their live coverage across the sheets. We truly are privileged to be able to see curling at our fingertips, to be able to see our loved ones, our friends, our families out here doing what they do best this has been an incredible experience, not only for us as athletes, not only for the people watching today, but of course, for the future generations who are waiting to take a crack at these two teams and to find themselves in this position sometime in the future. And your champions of the 2024 Alberta Boston Pizza Cup, Team Slichinski. Now we're going to listen in here to the closing remarks. So stay tuned in, stay seated, and wipe those tears from your eyes, my friends, because this is a special moment. And there you have it, Team Kui, your provincial silver medalists. And what a great performance by them this week. 
Congratulations, Team Kui. There you have it, friends. Team Alberta and a knowledgeable crowd welcoming in your newly crowned Team Alberta. <laughs> Getting it positioned properly. And so well deserved. I mean, honestly, Chelsea, this has just been marvelous. What a great performance, and we can only hope to see that at the Briar in the upcoming weeks. Yeah, absolutely, you have to like their chances if they play like they did today. They were solid, top to bottom, just an unbelievable performance put on by Team Slichinski today. And have and to think that they'll be bringing that into the Briar, which is very exciting. And if I was a team watching this provincial championship, I would be very, very, very curious and very, very, very aware of this team moving forward because they are going to be a force to be reckoned with when they get step foot on the ice at the Briar. Yeah, they're a sleeper pick. If you're if you're a betting person, I'd look at the odds on Team Slachinski because I bet that their actual odds to win might be better than the line that they get. So if you didn't already get your 50-50 tickets, then you be prepared to bet on Team Slachinski at the Briar because you'd be making big money, honey. <laughs> yeah, you would. <laughs> Chelsea, I can't thank you enough for this, this evening, for all your hard work, for what you do in our curling community. You are a great representation of sport, of women in sport, of empowering young people and young minds to talk curling, to be okay and to live in a world where talking about curling is welcomed and honored you are an incredible wealth of knowledge we are so glad to have you here i hope that you continue to do this work because you are absolutely marvelous so thank you so much for spending your time with us this week and on our championship sunday this has been phenomenal oh my goodness you're gonna make me cry thank you very much i love doing this i love curling and this has been a blast for me it was great great to hang out with you today i mean i feel like you and i could have been sitting in a living room chatting about curling and we get to do it on mics for everybody to listen to us it's uh next time they're gonna yep, give us our time. own booth next time <laughs> perfect <laughs> no it's been a lot of fun i'm honored to be part of it and, and we were treated to some amazing curling this whole week but certainly these these last couple of days and and yeah i mean i can't wait for the briar now And friends, for those of you who are joining us in the fourth and the fifth end, Sheldon Hayes here, great supporter of curling in our province, a wonderful owner, wonderful franchisee, a representation of Boston Pizza, foundations of curling. He's building those blocks here for our communities and we cannot thank him enough. And here we are as we close out our event.
My name is Evan Asmussen. I was joined by Chelsea Carey on behalf of the broadcasting crew here at Curling Alberta. We thank you for tuning in for our closing ceremonies and we wish Team Slachinski all the best of luck. Chelsea, till next time. Till next time. Thank you, Evan. You are awesome. Thank and you. thanks to everybody involved in this production. It's been a blast. Take care, everybody. Be safe. And of course, tune in to the Home End podcast hosted by yours truly every Monday night. And you might just see a few of these special friends there tomorrow night talking about all things curling, all things great, all things wonderful in our sport. Have a lovely night wherever you are. Be safe, get home safely and take care of yourselves. So you're a pizza person, but you're married to a wing person, and your kids are salad people? You can't pick your fam, but with over 50 menu items to choose from, you can make them all happy. Order today and enjoy Boston pizza at home. Need extra space? We rock at storage. Try four weeks free at a location near you. Sentinel Storage, proudly Canadian and proud sponsor of the Alberta Scotties Tournament of Hearts.